Hello, hello, Danger Noodles. I am here with uh, a streamer. Wow. Oh, I forgot to fucking retweet your stream. Yeah, um, so if you look at my party, you may see some, uh, that four Pokemon here were used to be at level 60, but are almost at level 100. <laughs> That's mainly because of the Poké and Dialga raids when I kept trying to catch those motherfuckers. I have them hey, now. Hey, Chew. Oh, hi, Chew. I have them now, so that's all that matters. <laughs> Anyways, we have to go to the Academy now. Talk to this new person. not see the ochre. Fine, I'll put him in my fucking party, Chew. <laughs> Jesus. The ogre? The oh, Pokemon from last... <laughs> I don't remember the gender Chew. Now, where the fuck did I put the ochre? <laughs> I don't even know where Jesus I put them. Jesus Christ, your boxes. <laughs> oh yeah, there's my dark cry. <laughs> Vaporeon. Oh, shut up, Patrick. Hey, is that my Lucario down there? Yep, that's my shiny Lucario. He's piss colored. <laughs> it looks like a Lucario god playing as Pikachu. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, where the fuck did I put this ogre bitch? You have like three Dunsparce? There. There's one, and I saw another one in a previous box. That feels like Pikachu races. <laughs> oh, yeah, there's another one. Uh, don't worry about it. Right? There is a search function. There. Ogre Pawn is in the party. <laughs> Happy Chew. <laughs> Alright, let's see what this DLC's got. Piss off, Ben Ben. No. No more machinery small bean. Also, I'm never happy. Oh, who the fuck are you? <laughs> Why is he cross-eyed? <laughs> <laughs> he actually looks like he's about to drool. <laughs> right. What? What did I do? I just asked who it is this motherfucker when I came in here. I'm confused. I'm waiting to see what you do next. Okay. Anyway. Um, why? Who do we have here? There. Ben, Ben, stop! Peace! I'm wit. Oh wait, no, I was about to start reading Chew's <laughs> Chew's part of the game now. <laughs> I know I've seen your face somewhere before. Who were you again? Um, I'm the person who murdered uh, 50 Pidgeys. Nice to meet you. Jeez. I can hear you say the name's Aaron Bright. <laughs> or I'm Aaron Bright. <laughs> I'm gonna be a dick. <laughs> ben! 
face. <laughs> Finn loves you. No, he's like trying to get into something that he's not supposed to. See? Yeah. Oh, that's right. Your own brain as you literally just told me. <laughs> yes, yes, I know you. <laughs> What do you want? Food. <laughs> if he wanted food, he would go upstairs. Cat just turning it into a Neko. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> well, now that you're here, let's get. Why is he cross eyed? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, what voice did I give Clavel? You mean clavicle? Yeah, clavicle. <laughs> I don't remember. It's been so uh, long. Uh, I think it was like flamboyant gay voice. Ah. Uh. So it's like male Cindy. <laughs> Wait just a moment, director. <laughs> director Cycle. Like Lazar. <laughs> Can they just turn into a Pokemon out of nowhere? And that's their real form? <laughs> it's just like they just have a mustache on in a suit. That's it. <laughs> the smartest Pokemon that ever lived, except for all the others that are smarter. Yeah. Oh, hello there. Belly, what the? <laughs> You're as lively as always. What nickname is Belly? Okay, I'm headcanoning these two as being fuck buddies. Oh my god. Didn't realize you were here. Of course I'm here. As director of this academy, where else would I be? You know what I just realized? I never did the Pokemon League League ship thing inside the school. You never did the Pokemon League? No, I didn't like I beat the like the Pokemon Challenge and League. I just didn't do the um the special tournament thing that was held after the school after the Pokemon League. I just never did oh. it. <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty sure I would have won either way, but. And Bill address me properly while students are present, would you? More importantly, what are you doing here? I thought we had agreed to meet in my. <laughs> Office. <laughs> oh my god, the game is confirming <laughs> it, Hatchet. <laughs> we're, s we're supposed to be in my office, darling. <laughs> Edwin, we must have slipped my mind. He still I mean, looks yeah, cross eyed. He <laughs> I mean, no wonder it slipped your mind. You're very <laughs> clearly not all here, dude. Yeah. Also, is it just me, or does this hair look like a piece of rock? I was thinking more like... Oh. Uh... Like a rock garden. Specifically. Yeah. Alright. Alright, have fun, Chew. Chew Loaf must acquire food. What is wrong with this guy? <laughs> anyway, what's it matter? This is the student from <laughs> what is that face? <laughs> <laughs> he looks like he's trying to take a massive shit. When oh wait. How, I, how do I do this again? 
Actually. Actually. Well, yes, he is, but... Oh, I do apologize, Miss Aaron Bright. You must be terribly confused. Oh, I forgot last time. You get so pissed off when I keep saying my name over again. <laughs> do vaguely remember this, yes. <laughs> I think it was like one character who kept saying my name over and over again. I forgot who. This, uh, the pigs. Oh god. The hatchet is being arrested by cops. <laughs> no, not <laughs> those pigs. <laughs> uh, um. Actually, this is Director Cyclazar, Blueberry Academy. He's still cross-eyed. <laughs> As I mentioned on the phone, he's interested in accepting you as an exchange student. And we just switch schools? <laughs> I guess. <laughs> oh, my fucking brain. Distracted. Uh. Uh. Jesus Christ, my. Hatchet is dying. <laughs> what is wrong with me? Yeah, that's me. Director Cyclazar. Uh, did I not mention that? Uh, no. <laughs> One look at our young friend here makes me suspect you indeed failed to clear off that point. These voices are becoming identical. <laughs> Speaking of which, why did you request a Miss Aaron Bite? <laughs> right. Specifically, to take part in your, uh, exchange program. Excellent question, Belly. It's very simple, you see. The reason is... Oh, he's bald. Uh, um, why did I put in that request? Does he have fucking dementia? Why? It doesn't. What's wrong with you? It doesn't have to be dementia. <laughs> Alright, it could be all people... Alzheimer's. No, some people are just forgetful, you dick face. Like me. <laughs> ah, fuck you. <laughs> The swine tar is finally dead. Oh my god, that face! <laughs> what the fuck was that? <laughs> oh, that's right! The school trip to Kai. The school trip to Kite Town. I fight. Met some of my students there. Did it? Yeah. Apparently they redesigned one of the characters. I didn't see it yet, though. I have. I don't want spoilers. I what? What? Oh, sorry. I wasn't. <laughs> Why would I just immediately tell you? <laughs> yes, yes. One of them was named Arma, I believe. She's the one who recommended me. 
Now that I've gotten to meet you for myself, yeah, I've got a good feeling of Oh ho! I'm glad to hear that, Director Pikelazar. I'd just love for you to visit my school. You would be a breath of fresh air to speak. Well, if any, if anything can be said about Director Cyclozar, it's that he has a keen eye for talent. Is it that, or he can tell that my Pokemon are way higher level than their Pokemon? <laughs> I don't know. I think this guy got hit over the head before he came here. <laughs> yeah, I, he might he might genuinely just be delirious he could have been hit by an actual cyclozar <laughs> <laughs> that's why he's saying his name is cyclozar <laughs> it's the last thing he remembers he got into a fucking cyclozar accident right outside of the school it flung him all the way up the massive steps <laughs> I would be thrilled if you went to Blueberry Academy and got to know the students there. But only if you're willing to, of course. Think of it as a chance. Uh, what? I guess the chew is back. Why did you bonk chew? Because I can. Me. <laughs> think. Uh, actually, think of it as a chance to finally expand upon your treasure hunt. I wish I could accompany Miss Iron, but I'm afraid I must ask you to watch over her in my... <laughs> right? Oh. Sorry. You will watch... Wait. Actually. You will watch over her, won't you? <laughs> Is he threatening them? <laughs> no. Oh, of course! I'd never let anything happen to one of my students. Here, get on my cycle bar with me. <laughs> <laughs> and we immediately run into another cycle <laughs> I'd imagine the Cyclozar is just pissed and fucking launches him off. Yeah. <laughs> I hope this experience leads you to even more you can treasure. Lots of luck to you. That's it. That that's that's all. It's just like you just like walk in. Hey, you're going to a different country. Walks away. <laughs> yeah, Drew says we're wrong. What do you mean wrong? Unhinged mouse barking equals pet. <laughs> Yeah, unhinged mouse barking equals head pats. Hinged mouse barking equals bonks. <laughs> You're a dick bag. <laughs> yes, I am. There they are. There you go, Chew. Chew's 
<laughs> on electrical wiring. Just give me a hollow whenever you're ready to head to my Blueberry Academy. Right, I swear to God. <laughs> okay, I should probably save just in case. Don't make me do it, Bright. Do what? Don't make me do it. <laughs> what are you gonna do? <laughs> Yo, you had the gun in the chat. I didn't see it at first. <laughs> it's a rug on fire. <laughs> Jokes on you. I don't have a rug. <laughs> Are you all ready to kick off your studies abroad at Blueberry Academy? Then the floor is on fire, dumbass. <laughs> Jokes on you, who thinks that I even have a floor? <laughs> Why did I show up to this? <laughs> Let's get going. <laughs> Chew. <laughs> oh, we take airplane this time. Unplugs <laughs> from my block grabber. Here we go. Now, apparently, some people are saying there's gonna be a new Pokemon type, but I don't know if that's true or not. gonna go back to delving in darkest darkness. Oh shit. That's one way to make an academy look. Todd. And also choose through the power cord for the rest. Ah, duh! We're here. Welcome to my Grand Blueberry Academy! Uh, can you leave and shut the fuck up so I can actually explore? <laughs> no, this is, this is... No, what do you think this is? This is a modern Pokemon game. There is going to be a million oh. unskippable beast bullshit. This is actually just the entry. The school itself is mostly underwater. It's that amazing. Oh yeah, I can definitely see that not going wrong at all in any sort of way. <laughs> oh my god, shoo. And did you notice? Look at how blue <laughs> place it is. <laughs> I can't tell you how long I spent picking the perfect blueberry color. You know, like blue. Rip. Wait, I just realized, what if a sword was colorblind and, and they don't- they can't see the color blue? <laughs> you mean that they would see, like, a different color? Yeah. Blue. When you say they can't see the color blue, my brain reads that as, like, the object that is blue just doesn't exist. To them. Also, welcome to America, Bright and Hatchet. Oh shit, that means we can have guns. No. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, what else? Uh... Oh yeah, I meant to say something. Uh, Garden of Bayman Chapter 5 hasn't doesn't have a release date yet, it just says coming soon. But uh, Garden of Bayman Chapter 6 releases December 20th. On one of my days off. 
Wait, so the fifth? What? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> I swear that whoever's developing those games has their fucking hands so far up their ass. You never know regions based on this. Ah, right. True. Ah. So you definitely you're gonna join the uh, VC for the game, right? What? When I'm playing Garden of Ban Ban again, you're gonna join the VC, oh, right? I, I don't fucking know. <laughs> Anyway, so let's continue on with the game. I mean, I already read this. Stop enabling shitty games. No, I I want to complete the series of Garden of Bay Bad. <laughs> Perhaps you have something you'd like to ask me. No, fuck off. Why is the rest of the school underwater? Why did you pick Blueberry for the name? How do you know Director Glavel? <laughs> hmm. Really? That's what you're curious about. What you see in college? Uh... I am not going to school underwater. Yeah, I can just imagine like some like delinquent or some stupid kid just like, watch what I do to this window, tosses a rock at it. <laughs> well, it's very simple, you see. It's, uh... Who the fuck are you? Wait, you gonna, do you want to voice them? Or? Uh, sure, I can. Director, Director Sekulazar and Director Clavicle got to know each other through their postgraduate work at the same university. Or at least that's what I've heard. Yes, right. Exactly. Took the words right out of my mouth. What do you mean shit? What's wrong, Chew? What happened? Good thing there are none. I'm not going to a school in the water. Good thing there are none of those those here that were in part one of the DLC. Yet not in the chat. <laughs> I said that earlier that they were part part two. And did you read <sighs> this? Two is. Who is mocking you because you didn't read the thing that led to Chu saying shit? So? You just saw shit and was like, shit about what? Just look up! <laughs> no. <laughs> Anyways, let's re uh, read your line. Yes, I already read this. Are you just not paying attention? Maybe. Oh, well, she's cute. Always on point, aren't we, Lacey? Oh no, it was nothing. Do we have a guest today? We do. I'm fine. If here as part of the exchange program. <laughs> Make us feel welcome, eh? Well, Chew, see, here's the thing. I'm part of DLC right now. <laughs> <laughs> you aren't a kid yet. <laughs> Hold on. This is the exchange student from the Padilla, uh, I mean, Parmesan region? A 
forgot we called it Parmesan for a second there. <laughs> I suppose I didn't introduce myself, did I? <laughs> if you were, I would hate being around you. You already do. <laughs> well, it's presumptuous. <laughs> I annoy them a lot. <laughs> with the shit you annoy I do. everyone a lot. <laughs> yeah. That doesn't mean we hate being around you in inherently. Maybe. Anyways. I suppose I didn't interest myself, did I? At least, one of the second year students here. Not the same amount as I hate being around kids. <laughs> See, Chu does hate me in some regard. <laughs> I was right. <laughs> I hate most people in the same in some regard. I hate people. <laughs> you must be must really be something special, you know. It's rare for Dr. Sekadazar to remember the name of a new student. Uh huh. Just call me out, why don't you? <laughs> Actually, I've got an idea. Why don't you explain how things work around here, Lacey? Oh god damn it. I don't want dialogues. I want to explore and kill Pokemon. You you want me to do it? Well, yeah. You know this tour guide stuff isn't my strong suit. He's going back to visit Do uh, Director Clavicle. That's literally an ocean away, dude. <laughs> Doesn't mean he's not gonna do it. Oh my gosh, dude. Free child labor. I knew this was America. <laughs> well, that's certainly true, but still, I imagine there must be someone more suitable than me. Please don't take it like it's not that I don't want to show you around it or anything. Director Salazar just has bad habit of pushing his duties onto me, you see. And it's just not right. Really letting me have it today, aren't you? <laughs> Said, this might be my chance to get to know the new student everyone's talking about before anyone else can. That decides it. I will take on this task. Excellent. Now then, let's head straight down this bridge and and to the entrance, on you go! <laughs> just leave! <laughs> like, just on this way, and I just go the opposite direction. Is there actually anything over here? That's what I want to check and see if there's any Pokeballs on the ground. Oh look, uh, they have fried chicken here. So there's no Pokeball over here. Hmm. Just thought, destroy the dome, destroy the dome, destroy the dome, destroy the I just left her behind. <laughs> to Blueberry Academy. Our school puts a great deal of emphasis on the art of Pokemon battling. Yeah, I'm gonna whoop all your asses. We hold official matches 
on its central court, right here at the entrance, and any student can freely utilize this court if it's not otherwise in use. I think it's safe to say that you'll, you'll be batting more here than in any other school. Oh, sweet. Free money. <laughs> exactly. Good enough said it better myself. <laughs> Choose somehow still a better educational system than real life. Director Salazar, I think perhaps it's fine if you just leave the two to me. Still, it's really relaxing here with the sea breeze blowing over you, even when no one is batting. You have to see students lazy and about in stands. Oh, 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 there's an, uh, one other quality of our school that you'll likely find very surprising. Well, Pokemon sometimes trashalize here. That should be of a concern. <laughs> Since most of the school's underwater, that should be a concern. <laughs> <laughs> that shouldn't be just like, oh yeah, it's fine. No, that that should be a concern. <laughs> huh, a volcano erupted in Iceland. <laughs> I suppose that's not anything special to someone from Padilla, is it? With the rest of Pokemon, what's first discovered in the Paldea, or I mean, Parmesan region after all. But we've taken things a step further than you and your terror all. We've dissolved We've made neat heck ourselves. Something that lets us that lets us control the terrestrial phenomena on our own Oh, is there gonna be a new battling technique? But I thought America had discovered everything. Are you telling me that our propaganda machine I mean educational system lied to me? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I bet that piques your interest, doesn't it? No. <laughs> <laughs> I just be a dick. Right. <laughs> um, sir, I think it would be easy to understand how all that works. After we go to the lower level, she must pronounce propaganda. Maybe. <laughs> if you could have put a little pin in that thought. Always thinking ahead. That's all lazy. Oh, you know what? I think it'd be great. If the two of you had a battle. Oh, she's about to see the wrath of lemon. What? Right now? Why not? I'd like to see what I fight here is capable of. Uh... And our Lacey is a member of the Elite Four in the League Club. We have going here. Oh shit, there's another Pokemon League at the beat. Yeah. They say nothing of the influence of her father, one of Unova's region's famed gym leaders. I bet you'll learn a thing or two. Yeah, sure. Oh, I wish you wouldn't go spreading personal information without answering me first. It's just not right. 
Give me a good show now, you two. Just gonna... Just gonna walk away. Yep. What a fucking dick. I'm sorry, but this new negation with Director Sanazar once he gets an idea in his head. There's no way he'll move on with the two with the two until we give him his battle. Besides, I have to admit, I'm a, I'm a little excited myself at the tenth battle you here at Blueberry Academy, we tend to go for double battles. Let's give out a try and get to know each other a little better. Oh sweet, granite and Oh, wow, they're gonna be messed up. Grand Inferno and Lemon are my t number one and number two. <laughs> well, this is gonna go fast. Snacks, dude. dude my two Pokemon. Listen, we're seeing who they can't even this boy. Ten five remix, let's go. Uh let's see, let's do uh liquidation. No wait, not that. Uh hmm. Brick break on mining. Uh flamethrower on Wussle. Uh, he says let the ogre kill them. No. Oh, Grand Inferno landed a critical hit, hit, wishing to be praised. That's quite the harsh blow. Let's see how. Now, how should I turn this around? Your, your Pokemon's dead. They've been flambayed. <laughs> Try to use an attack that doesn't hurt Lemon. That's right, plus minor strategy isn't working. Guess I'll go all out with pure strength. Oh, Escadrill. Yeah, that worked really well. How <laughs> <laughs> oh, would you like that? You go straight for those tight weaknesses with precision, don't you? No shit. Yeah. <laughs> and there goes mine. <laughs> oh, look at you. You're just doing the most <laughs> obvious thing imaginable for a Pokemon battle. Oh, I defeated her. That was it. <laughs> Do you even terrestrialize? No. Well, you beat, beat me soundly. I think she was gonna trust us with Escadrill, but I killed them too fast. Oh. <laughs> Wait, no, like, wouldn't she be able to terrestrialize right when she took them out? Maybe. Chew, I'm not gonna use Ogre Pawn in battle. Anyway. That's good. <laughs> I put them in a party, that's all you get, Chew. Anyways. Spectacular! You really are quite skilled. I wish I could have seen you trustalize one of your Pokemon now. I'd like to see how someone from Paldea does it. So it's here at Blueberry Academy where, where only recently issued Terra Orbs. So I hope you'll be able to teach us more about them. And no extra content for you for <laughs> your $35. I already seen what the the fucking big mass thing does. I haven't. Oh. Oh, I guess what I can is, show what you by even when you terrestrialize Ogre Pond that something special happens. I can show you when we find a wild Pokemon if they ever fucking shut up. This that is not right. what I mean. Okay. Well, I don't know. Whatever. Well done to the both of you. You really battled it out. And battled it out blueberry style. Speaking of style. 
I forgot I had a uniform on. Oh, Don't feel damn like it. you fit right in as soon as you're dressing the bar. I mean, if like if the ogre Pokemon is like an important thing for the story here, why not have it out front? Because the rest of my Pokemon are more powerful, and I can deal with things a lot quicker. And I don't think Chew is said it's like an integral to a story. I think it just it says it's something special will happen or something. Anyways. It is you beautifully. Now that's what I call fashion. Oh, and you can take this as well. I'm noticing it, and it looks like my clothes are really tight. <laughs> You're not gonna know because I'll be a little shit and keep it a secret. Oh, something worthless. That should give you a few more options when you visit shops and salons and, and such and how they are. Wait, I just realized, why did we fly on a plane when one of the Pokemon in my party flies faster than the jet engine? Formality, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I literally could have gotten here faster. Now that I look the pot, now that you look the pot, and hopefully feel it too, why don't we head into the school? Also, if you're wondering which Pokemon it is, it's Lemon. Somehow, Lemon the Shark can fly. Yeah. I don't know how. <laughs> you can pick up where you want to go from the gate over there. Come on, I'll show you the pride of the Blueberry Academy, a world-famous Terralium. I just stole five thousand dollars from her <laughs> for beating her. Jesus. Yeah. I don't... Oh, well, I guess I just go here. Oh, no, uh, yep. Yeah, there's only one place I can go. <laughs> oh, we can actually see how big the school is, and holy shit, that's a big ass school. <laughs> How far deep into the earth is this? You know, I'm not gonna question it. Because when you water deep into the earth, I mean, not in the ocean. I don't know why I said earth. But wouldn't water pressure also affect you even if you're in a building? Or am I getting that wrong? Mm. Or... Right. Yes. If that was the case, how do you think submarines work? Oh, right. The structure has to keep pressurized on the inside to a standard amount and has to be able to withstand the pressure from the outside. Right. If it fails to withstand the pressure from the outside, you get human smoothies. Right. This is it, a, a park beneath the sea that has gained renown around the world. Our very own Terrarium. Oh yeah, I actually did watch a YouTube short on how to catch one of the legendaries. Well, it's technically a mythical, but basically you have to spin around for 10 seconds, open a camera to a certain filter, and look for it. That's, uh. that's how you find it! And I'm like, why did they do it that way? I'm pretty sure there's gonna be a like quest for legendaries. Cause that's what happened last time with the with the bear bitch. So I probably have to go around talking to people and get quests. She just says this is where people's tax dollars went to and be back in the Alright. See you too. Head set yeah. off for a sec. Alright. We may be end of water. But the projectors built in the walls and ceiling make it feel like we're outside. Actually, outside, don't they? 
back. Uh, yeah, they're, they're basically just saying that there's projectors somewhere projecting what looks like the sky, even though we're underwater. I don't see the projectors, but okay. <laughs> We were able to create a comfortable environment for Pokemon through technology. Oh, here we go. I designed this all myself, and believe me, it wasn't cheap. <laughs> Within this dome, there are four distinct biomes. Here we have a nice and toasty subtropical savanna biome. Oh, wait, did you see that glitch? Did you see the glitch? Yes. <laughs> you should turn all blue for a moment. <laughs> hmm. It looks like they didn't patch everything. <laughs> and off to your right, you see the breezy tropical coastal biome. Oh, oh there it goes again. <laughs> you might want to fix your biodome. This is normal. Yeah. <laughs> Everything's yeah. fine. Yeah. <laughs> further out to your left. You'll see the craggy, crunchy, rugged canyon biome. Oh god, it got worse when we went over here for a second. This but not least, way out in the distance, we have the arctic and snowy polar biome. Bruh. <laughs> My powers have activated in this, in this building hatchet. Should we have told him I have the glitching power? <laughs> nah, they'll be fine. <laughs> what? It would be funny if the second I take one foot in onto the savannah biome, it just everything just glitches out and turns blue. <laughs> and they're no, you take the one. No, you take one step onto the savannah biome, <laughs> and uh, the dome above you crashes inward. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Each biome's air temperature and humidity levels are regulated with the utmost care. That's why you, why you can't find completely different Pokemon species within each area. We sure put a lot of effort into it. Tell me, Aaron Bright, which biome tickles your fancy up that? Probably the cannon biome, because that's most likely where Rayquaza is going to be. It just said cannon. Yeah, that's where the cannons are. <sighs> oh my gosh, this sentence. I love it. Oh, see, you uh, like things that are a bit rough and ragged, don't you? Uh... <laughs> This needs to be clipped right at this moment when I said that. Oh my god. You can also find a mysterious ore in that biome that we call Charge Stone. If you need to heal up your team while you're down here, feel free to use a self serving healing. I mean, self serve healing. It sounds like I'm just putting my Pokemon in an ice cream machine. We even stand around the Terranium. Now then, Director uh, Sagadaza, can you explain to us why crystals form here and how the wild Pokemon are able to rationalize? I, uh, but you don't know already, Lisa, that, oh, I get it, you want me to do the talking. Please don't make me do the talking. In that case, let me show you. The reason is actually right above our heads. Oh. That there is the terrarium core, which presides over all that happens in the terrarium. I like how the second we go to look at it, all music just cuts off. <laughs> Is there something inside there? It contains a fluid, 
that we've jam-packed full of a special material from Paldea. It's constantly emitting terrestrial energy. That's what allows Pokemon to terrestrialize in the dome. Wonderful. Well said, sir. That's exactly right. Though, I don't... I still don't know what that special material is within a Tyrannic core itself. It's never been shared publicly, has it? Oh, you want to know? Well, in fact, it's... It's... No... What was it? I plum forgot. Oh my god. Ryer put all of it together, so I'm not certain myself. That's what I thought you might say. Practical battle class will commence shortly in the coastal biome. Students practicing in this class should make their way to the coastal biome now. Yeah, yeah, I'm not gonna go there. Oh, it looks like you're just in time to see a class session, too. No, I do not want to see that. This is too good for a chance to pass up. When you join us, Aaron Bright, you can get your first taste of high school's classes. No, thank you. Fuck off. No. <laughs> I can say no. But, but it's just a great opportunity to learn. You can't tell me you don't like studying. I'll go ahead and register the Terrarium map to your real-time phone for you. Oh, I like your phone design. <laughs> Mine just looks plain. It's fun to take a stroll through the Terrarium on your own, and I think it'd be more of a hassle than anything if you ha had me holding your hand. So, yep, that sells it. Please find your way to the class site in the coastal biome on your own. Well, fuck, well, that's fine. I'm not going there. Fuck you. Well, doesn't seem like I'm needed here. Wait, sir, you don't. But I've made sure that a dorm room has been all set up for you, Iron. So don't forget to. Come in a visit later. Oh. oh, yes, and one other thing. Could you open your Pokedex app for me? as many Pokemon here in the terrarium as you please. Don't be... Don't be afraid to go sauce back wild. Wait, that makes me wonder, how the fuck did they get the hold of the legendaries to, by not catching them and putting them here? <laughs> that raises a question. It's your student life here at Blueberry Academy, so remember to live it up to the fullest. And there he goes. Thank God, I don't want to keep reading. <laughs> you chose to read him. Yes, I know. <laughs> and I regretted it immediately. <laughs> well, you can at least count on me to be around when you need me, so there's no conflict in sin. It's probably time we both hit the class. I'll be waiting for you to join us in the coastal biome. You will not see me for two hours. <laughs> I'll be back in a minute. Okay. Wait. Oh. Oh! I recognize a certain someone. I recognize a certain someone. I'm gonna talk to you. Hey, wait a minute. Don't I know you from somewhere? That's right, my old partner. How are you, partner? I mean, Aaron Bright. 
That's right, good old parent is still kicking around. You're doing well for yourself, eh? I sure appreciate all the help you gave me back at, and keep the guy tracking down the Blood Moon Beast. Never thought I'd bump into you like this. I might teach you a new pose to celebrate. Oh, but what about the growl that I entrusted to you? Is he doing alright? I hope you put him on your team sometimes to do a bit of adventuring together. So you're here as a sort of, some sort of exchange student, huh? Nice. Oh, hi, Chu. Anyways. What a coincidence. I just started working here as a photographer, of course. Hey, <laughs> jerks. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> yeah, it pretty much is, right? Yo, I'm still sort of waiting to hear the school likes my work, to be fair. They say they want snapshots of the terrarium and the students and all for upcoming marketing stuff. So how about some, some photos of you? I uh, speaking of photos, I've got a hot tip I could let you on. But if I told you, I bet you're just going to go running right off. How about this? I'll snap some candid shots of you catching tons of Pokemon in Terrarium. Don't worry, you won't even notice I'm nearby. If I make enough headway in my work, by the time you register, say, 200 Pokemon, the Blueberry Pokedex, I'll share that hot tip. Okay, sweet. So the real question is how many Pokemon do I have to find? Why am I getting a... I don't know why I'm getting an expansion mark on those two. Oh, wow. Not as much as I thought there would be. Oh, well. Let's see. Don't, do I have you? I cannot remember. Let's show up as a Pokeball if I don't. No, I do not, so... First, do I have quick balls? Yes, I do. Boom. Doduo was caught. Doduo, the twin bird Pokemon. Its head... Heads never sleep at the same time. Each one takes a turn keeping watch while the other sleeps, switching every hour or so. Oh, that was the very first Pokemon in the Pokedex. The slow first files. I'm catching Pokemon, Chew. You get over here, you fat motherfucker. You just tapped his ass, and that's how I got into Pokemon battle. <laughs> Don't bonk me. No ass tapping. <laughs> Rhyhorn, the spikes Pokemon. Once it starts running, it won't stop, even if it if it crashes through boulders. This disposition is what's called causes habitat to expand. Wait, I'm just picking these bitches up. Okay, so I caught Venonat and its evolution, so I can ignore them. Am I gonna execute? I feel like I have. No, I have not. Oh shit. You solar beam. It's gonna take a bit of time. 
false swipe. Shit, I'm gonna need another false swipe. Yeah, that doesn't do much to limit. Again, you're not doing much to lemon. <laughs> Execute the egg Pokemon. Using telepathy, only fellow execute can pick up on. They always form a cluster of six. Ah, there's the final evolution. Get over you, fucker. Can we eat them? Yes. Uh, do you want an omelet or a scramble? Who the fuck just wants just scrambled to do to be hungry again in 30 minutes? Dodrio, triple bird Pokemon. The strongest head and the thickest neck becomes the leader and gains primary control of the body. I, I know people who eat just uh, uh, scrambled eggs in the breakfast chew. Don't go judging like that. Most people are wrong and dumb. Chew. Oh, I have caught Cypher. Okay. I forgot I had that function. That is a very good function. Oh god, lag. There was lag for a second. I couldn't move. Bit right, yeah. You missed it early. Oh god, you missed it earlier. Oh god. There was like blue screen stuff on the ground. They have not fixed their glitches. Have I gotten a chancy? Yeah, I've gotten a chancy. Still like now, oh god. I'm gonna get away from this area. This game can't be fixed. Yeah. What's this? <gasps> the little baby! It's the little bug baby. Only fix the game is to tear it down and start all over again from the ground up. <laughs> Probably by another development company. <laughs> Trapinch, the ant pit Pokemon. As it digs through the sand, its giant jaws crush any rocks that obstruct its path. It builds a funnel-shaped nest. Oh, I already have a sauce buck, so I don't need to catch that sauce buck. Ooh, I need you. yet? I can't remember. It's been a while since I played this game. <laughs> Vibraba, a vibration Pokemon. 
It generates ultrasonic waves by vigorously vibrating its wings. After making its prey faint, it dissolves the prey with its digestive juices. Yes, I have. Okay. Oh, I don't have you yet. Hello. It's a magby. Pokeball, bitch. Oh, okay, you're gonna play it hard. Oh, let's hope you don't have Solar Beam. Not that it'll do much. God damn it. I'm pretty sure I have Flame Heals or something, or Burn Heals or whatever the fuck it's called. Oh, it, it cleared its own burn. Thank you, Guard Chomp. My precious baby gir uh, girl or boy, I forgot what your gender is. <laughs> ah, shit. Yay, Lemon! Oh, you're a boy. Okay. <laughs> Live coal Pokemon. Magma like blood circulates through this Pokemon's body, raising its body temperature as high as 1,100 degrees Fahrenheit. That's a hot child. It's a, a, a hot blooded child, I should say. I should not have said it the way I did the first time. Oh god. I did not mean it in that way, too. You know I didn't. <laughs> Do not tell Hatchet about it. Right, right. Go stand in the corner, face the corner, and think about what you've done. <laughs> right on. The drill Pokemon. It it evolved by to walk using its only hind legs, which it allowed it to expand its habitat even onto steep mountains. Oh. Well. And I won't if you let Ogre Pond be at the front of your party. Well, since Hatch is here, I'm going to show uh, the special animation. And then I want to put him right back at the bottom. Let's see. Which Pokemon do I want him to kill? Uh, let's kill the little baby eggs. Why are you so anti Ogre I, I just. Ogre Pond is just not one of the Pokemon I like all that much. I mean, it's cool and all, but. Not really the type of Pokemon I'd actually put on my team. I forgot I was a woman, I'm sorry. I'm used to my own party members. And there you go, that's what happens. Their mask gets really fucking huge. But again, if Ogre Pond is like themed around these DLCs, why not have them around? It's not really. I just rather have all my Pokemon be leveling enough instead of Pokemon I'm never gonna use. What? I want to get all my Pokemon to level 100, that's what I'm trying to say. Being in the front makes her a lot faster. Noob. I'm not gonna... And plus, Lemon knows False Swipe, which is good for catching Pokemon. 
And you can just bring out Lemon when you need to catch a Pokemon. It also doesn't really matter who was in first because their EXP shares in the front. I mean, not in the front. EXP shares on, which means everyone gets experience no matter what. So I'm just going to keep them in the back, and that's that. Anyways, let's catch the derpy tree fucker. Never mind. Let me get that. That gets sent out for tree of more EXP. Well, Lemon doesn't. Is at level 100. So I don't think they get any, anything. Whatever. Anyways, let's uh, false swipe. I guess a part of it is just. I feel like it gets boring when it's literally just two Pokemon that you primarily only ever send out. Like, what's the point of having literal boxes upon boxes filled with Pokemon if you're just gonna only use two? I brought him out of the box because she wanted to see him out of the box. That was the only reason it took him out. I mean, her out. Sorry. God damn it. Let me get this fucking thing out, out of my head. Misgendering Ogre Pond. Sorry. I don't. Anyways. Thank you, sir. The coconut Pokemon. It is said that on rare occasions, one of its eggs. Oh, one, of its, <laughs> one of its heads will drop off and continue as an execute. That wasn't my reason, you fucking liar. You can't read my mind. Well, I don't know what your reason is, anyways. Let me say for a bit. Uh, I'll be right back. I have to go take Busta out. <laughs> anyway, how you doing, Chu? Guess I'll be right back as well.
All right, I'm back. Yeah, I want the right buttons. But what? Talking about so. Yeah. Cut those Pokemon. Oh god, lag. Yeah, there's more than just glitches, hatches. Now lag. Rip. So they probably pushed out the DLC way too quickly. They push everything out way too quickly. Oh god, I can't move! Oh god. Is this a healing station? No, it's just a bunch of weird fucking boxes. What is the company that makes these called Game Freak? Yeah. The, these games are basically just Game Freak uh, doing everything they can to shit out as much as possible. Damn it. Now I have to fall swipe. It used Sketch, but it failed because I didn't use a move. <laughs> Smeagol has no moves left he can use. You struggle. It just ended its own life. <laughs> it has one move that it can use at once. That's... Oh my god. Hopefully you won't be like that. Damn, should have used over... Oh my god. I don't want to use fucking Ogre Pond. She's cool and all, but I want to use my Pokemon that I like. Spirit can learn any move it sees, yeah. Flygon, the mystic. Hey, Zanju. Yeah. Flygon, the mystic Pokemon. The sound of its wings flapping resembles singing. Those entranced by it as this sound get lured into a sandstorm and become Flygon's prey. Including humans. That's why I'll find another Smeargle. You said flapping. I thought you said something worse. Oh my god, Chew. No. And it tracks. <laughs> it tracks with tapping. The fapping of its wings sounds like <laughs> singing. So, if it doesn't go in the quick ball, it's gonna die. Okay. Oh yeah, how long were you gonna, uh, dream tonight? Oh, it's at 2am. I know yeah. I won't be able to beat it today, but tomorrow I got VTuber collab, so I can't do it tomorrow either. Hmm. So I'll probably do it, continue it Wednesday. What's going on tomorrow? Uh, Lethal Company again. Ah. With Alex in them? Yep. Oh, come on! I can't hurt you because you're gonna die! Great ass it. This is true. God damn it, Smeargle. I'm going to kill you. Hello, friend. Hello, friend. Oh, hey, Lost Samurai. How are you? It's been a while since we've collabed. <laughs> oh my god, Chew. Good, good. Yes, it's Halloween. Yeah. 
And yep, uh, it ended itself. God damn it. Stupid fucking Smeargle. Now stay in the goddamn quick ball. So I made a tower loop of that song. It, it is great. Oh my god. Wait, what song? The, I think it's like the Lethal Company, like, well, welcome to the team or whatever. God damn it, Smeargle. Oh, okay. No, I believe in the power of quick balls and my dumbassness. God damn it. Come on! The sofa's watching you do the exact same thing over and over again. It's been a different result. <laughs> Don't worry, this ball will capture this miracle. I believe in it. Fuck. <laughs> and I don't the definition of insanity. <laughs> Where's your belief now? <laughs> Fuck you. What the hell? Oh. It's Cake Batter, a Pokemon. Did I catch you already? No, I did not. Don't say it, Chew. Oh, this is a Pokemon they would fuck. Got it. What? You are better than this. <laughs> Milkery, the cream Pokemon. When attack, it tackles its foe and covers them in cream. With its foe either blinded or astonished by deliciousness, Milkery flees. Hmm. Cream. <laughs> The game is testing my impulsiveness. Yes, it creams. <laughs> okay, yeah, trying to see if I can get another smear goal to pop up. Then I guess I'll head over to the fucking coastal plains and do that stupid class. Oh yeah, apparently, if I catch 200 Pokemon, I can get a, a tip, a camera tip or whatever. Uh, that would probably help me get a Legendary or something. Mm. And now, once all the Smeargle died, I have no Smeargles popping up. That's just fucking great. Honestly, I think I'm just gonna head out. Alright, see you later, Hatchet. I'm not in a very good headspace tonight. That's fair. Yeah. Have a good night, y'all. See ya, Hatchet. Yeah, fuck it. We're going to get a glass. Watch this lemon destroys everything. First, where do I need? To go? Oh, I can fly right back there. Okay, so where's set his destination? There we go. We heal Lemon, and then we just kill and destroy every fucking Pokemon. With this... Uh... Damn it, shut the fuck up. Uh, that the class has.
Just kill them all. <laughs> Hate you. Oh, free hyper potion. God damn it. Leave this area. Oh, hi there. Let's go up here. Is this a new Pokemon? No, it is not. I have caught you. Go die. <laughs> Just aggressively <laughs> tells Pokemon to die. <laughs> oh well. I'm heading to class anyways. Because I'm too lazy to go back. So you're too lazy to go catch Pokemon. So you to go to school. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I'm sure that makes sense to someone. <laughs> oh, Aaron Bray. You didn't have any trouble finding a place. That was fine. <laughs> I'm so glad to hear. Aloha, everybody. Shall we get started? No, fuck you. Looks like we have a new face here with us today. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> so you're all enjoying the tropical cl climb. Wait, tropical climb? What? Is this supposed to be climate or? Whatever. We've recreated here at the coastal biome. Remember, it's it's really for the many Pokemon you'll find living here, adapted to such weather. One such species has even grown exceptionally larger than it might in other regions, thanks to all the light it's exposed to here. This doesn't seem fun at all. <laughs> this is this truly is an American school. That's right. Certain species of Pokemon can have completely different appearances depending. On the region, we call this variation a regional form. And that brings us to today's task. Like each of you to catch one of these Pokemon sp specifically in a low form Pokemon. When you've got one, come and report to me. Now get catching. And go fuck yourself. I'll catch more than one, bitch. Many of our- oh, that's at least it. Many of our classes here at the Blueberry Academy are practical ones like this. God, it's meant to be a spin. But this was outside of Pay oh, they it now? Yeah. Or in U Unova now. <laughs> so after you go, don't overthink it and just do your best for this first class. Uh, it, I may be later than everyone else, but that's fine. We It just showed me its ass. So much fun trying to evolve, okay? Oh yeah, you gotta put it upside down, right? They made it more confusing than it was to be. You have to hold your controller upside down while it levels up. Here's the thing, Chew. I can just... You know what Pokemon Home is, right? 
Yeah, but there's no fun in that. <laughs> yeah, I have the I have its evolution Pokemon home. Actually, I have I can complete the Pokedex right now. Why is it so shiny? I don't know. Inkay, your evolving Pokemon. Being upside down improves its blood flow and clears its mind, causing the power of its psychic moves to increase dramatically. I want to eat it. No. Why not? <laughs> they make one based on South America soon. Who knows, that might be their next game. Please do not speak that into existence. <laughs> we still need time to recover from this. But why? I already said why. You're not listening. <laughs> but what if we want a game with even more glitches? Then we can play a fan game. And then that's an insult to fan games. <laughs> Yeah, there's actually one thing I was looking into, and I saw someone made it a modded version that you can play on the computer of Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. And you can actually have your character not be the chibi form, but an actual player model, like, kind of like sort of, uh, from Scarlet and Violet, like, actually tall character. You won't be a chibi anymore. As well as they added accurate sizes to all Pokemon when they're beside you. I saw someone mod it to the point where Kirby was in the game. Oh my and, god. And each of Kirby's copy abilities had its own typing. And it had animations too. Oh my god. That's amazing. Imagine a full-sized whale lord. Imagine a guzz lord. Mm. Nah, I don't think I will. <laughs> Tentacruel, the jellyfish Pokemon. In, in battle, it extends all 80 of its tentacles to entrap its opponent inside a poisonous net. It's also good for tentacle porn. <laughs> what? I'm looking at an article, a, a screenshot from an article on Twitter, and I can't say it on a stream, but dear Christ, what has happened to us as a society? Oh my. I, I, I tweeted it. Anyone who really wants to see it can go see it. Well, that was easy. Tentacle, the jellyfish Pokemon. Its eyes are as transparent as crystals. From them, it shoots mysterious beams of light. Oh, I do not have you yet. I need to beat your ass to the ground.
and boom. <laughs> so much for your trust flyization. Oh. Whatever mode. Oh. And it would have lived. Well, I forgot about that. Got it. Well, that's a low one Pokemon. Trumbeak, the the bugle beak Pokemon. When it encounters foes, it launches the many seeds stored in its beak in a radio burst. I don't like Trumbeak. Is it because it evolves into a pelican? That's not a pelican. I'm not pelican. Uh, wait, not pelican. What am I thinking of? I'm not gonna help you. I want to see you actually figure it out yourself. So. <laughs> I can't remember its name. I know. Remember. What was it fucking name? No one in chat help her. Alright, get off your phone, I know you're looking. You're not on my phone. Get off that second tab you have open on your computer. I don't have anything. I don't hot for open. <laughs> oh, two can. And yeah, I was on my phone. His name is Two Cannon, and obviously you are. I wasn't born yesterday. <laughs> Or is a drunk boxer. <laughs> yeah. Come on, come on over here. No. Very caught you. Dear bitch, how are you? Okay, I'm not seeing anything new. Oh, hi there. Get in my balls, bitch. Muck actually looked really good terrestrialized. this threshold line is not broke yet. Thank you! My goodness. Okay, so... I can't tell if it's at 1 HP or not. Another... Now it is. <laughs> Son of a bitch. L. Ooh, I'll take that. Can I climb these? 
No, but I can land on top of them. Oh, the baby form. Catching Pokemon is too easy with, with quick balls. Don't forget, uh, it, it, let's just forget what happened earlier with Smeargle. Uh -huh. Picky Peck, the woodpecker Pokemon. Picky Peck has strong muscles in its neck so it won't hurt itself even if it violently shakes its head. Grimer. I'll catch you. Well, is it just me or do I prefer low and Grimer and Muck than the regular Grimer and Muck? I just like the design better. Anyways, let's go back to and capturing Pokemon to live forever in PC boxes. Grimer, the sludge Pokemon. Lone Grimer will gladly gobble up any kind of trash, making it a widely used and popular Pokemon at garbage disposal facilities. I can spell backwards as snake. Our buck spell back, uh, backwards as cobra. Muck spell backwards as come. No, you're not. I freed you. You know what I find very, very funny about this DLC? What? So many people on Twitter were happy. They, they felt so good about themselves. They, they felt so clever. When they notice the Gen 5 favoritism in this pack of the EOC. Oh my god, guys. They, they are giving lots of attention to Unova. We're going to Unova. I think they're gonna do something with Unova soon. <laughs> I think people are just wanting like a Pokemon Z. Wrong generation, right? Oh, wait, never mind. <laughs> I got generations mixed up. In an and I run twice. The one you got is the one generation. Gen 5 is the one generation of Pokemon I can never play. Oh. Shut up. I've played every Pokemon gen. Nerd. Shut up. Two Cannon. The Cannon Pokemon. Pairs of two Cannon are considered symbols of companionship, as these Pokemon will raise the temperature of their beaks to warm each other. I caught this one specifically for Chew. Now. Okay, so I do have Slack in and everything. Got it. Oop. I don't see any other Pokemon around here.
You know from the trailer, our small Rayquaza is apparently part of the DLC. As well as Necrozma. It's not the same if you don't get the key item that you're supposed to be using. Oh, Ultra Necrozma? That's the one thing I was fearing, like if we fight Ultra Necrozma. Cause that was a well, that was so hell. What is happening with your audio right here? On Discord or I have stream muted. Okay. I don't want to hear everything twice. Is everything on stream okay, Zanju? Because it could just be Discord being a bitch. Meow Stick, the constrained Pokemon. When they sense danger, they exert their psychic power at its maximum output. They have no regard for their opponents. Oh, I was suffering for a bit a moment there. Is everything good now, though? That's the question I have to ask. Is everything good? But it just... It might just be my internet. Ah. Comfy, the posy picker Pokemon. It prefers areas with lots of flowers. A comfy adorned with flowers is a happy comfy, and the flowers gain healing effects. Oh, and don't forget, as you catch Pokemon, going into your Pokedex will give you reward items. Ah, oh, right. Oh, yeah, the, the Pokemon with an unending stare. Esper. Kill it. We're gonna catch it first. Then we can murder it. The mouse wants violence. Alright. Have fun, Chew. Esper, the restraint Pokemon. Behind an Esper's expressionless face is a frantic struggle to contain psychic power. I teach. <laughs> Just ride off a motorcycle. Did you manage to catch a low form Pokemon for me? Yes. Oh crap, now I gotta actually fucking find it. That's one, alright. Yep. You have, without a doubt, got yourself an Alolan Grimer. See, Grimer were brought over to Loha to solve the garbage disposal problems there. Over time, the Grimer ended up in this form. Wait, Aaron Bright? You already finished the, the assignment? It was a walk in the park. It was fucking easy. They're everywhere. So apparently, isn't the only talent, then. You got a knack for catching Pokemon, too. It's easy to see how high level the students must be at the U Yuva Academy. Alright, everyone, gather around. We're all at 
of time for today, so that'll have to be it for the cl this class session. If you didn't manage to catch a Pokemon in time, that'll be your homework complete before our next session. Class dismissed. And really? I guess I'm stuck with homework. So, Aaron Brett, what do you think of your first Blueberry class? It was a piece of shit. It was easy. <laughs> My word, so the classes here at Academy are even more demanding? Probably. Oh, I was supposed to go make an appearance at the club room. Shoot! Remember, this will be the end of our little tour. But let me leave you to, with one more tip. Here, Blueberry, we have lots of extracurricular tasks you can do called Blueberry Quest. Or just BBQs for short. They're sort of like missions that the school signs students out and about in the terrarium. You might be asked to ha have your Pokemon do some auto battles. Or catch specific Pokemon. Those sort of things. You'll never know- What the hell's going on with my camera? Alright, there we go. You never know what the next BBQ might be. Or where you'll need to go to carry it out. But if you can do what's called- What's asked of you, you'll earn blueberry points, also also called BP. BP are kind of a school currency you can use in the cafeteria or, just, or at the school store. You might be able to use it for club activities in the future too. Anyway, the long and the short of it is that you should do BBQs and get yourself BP. And that's it for me. Sorry I have to dash, but I really must be off. Now enjoy your time, Blueberry Academy. Wow, I guess that's the end of the story. Oh. Hey, this is Aaron Conrad Aaron Brad's phone, right? It's me, Carmine. Heard our news, so you got picked for Blueberry Ca Academy Exchange Program, right? Yes. Ha! <laughs> One of my teachers told me. Never thought we'd be fellow students of BB Academy. Anyway, you, sh you should totally come show your face. It's been too long already. Now what do you think? Hmm, where should we meet up? Oh, have you been to the terrarium? There's a place called the Central Plaza, right in the middle of the dome. I'll meet you there. Don't keep me waiting if you know what's good for you. Eh, fuck you, I'm gonna do what I want. I'm going to catch more Pokemon. So you're going to have to suffer. Hmm. Ah, shit. So little teeny tiny bitches. Oh, I should probably heal Lemon. Now that I think about it. I need to heal Lemon. Lemon cannot die. I have no idea why I don't have four stores. Oh, hi, Chew. You're back. No. Oh. <laughs> You're just in chat. This is a ghost. Sure, Chew. Yeah, you guys are right there. Oop, what the fuck is that thing? Oh, this is a fiber. <laughs> I turn around and see the same as a viper. What the fuck is that? <laughs> it's a viper. Oh, and alone is that huge one. I do not have you. Damn it. That does not do much to me, bud. Thank you, Lemon. You did well. Yes, keep doing it, Lemon. Don't murder them, but get close to murdering them.
God damn it. I'm starting to think that you may not be particularly good at this. Shut up. Still on the red, so it's fine. See, I can catch Pokemon just fine, Chew. Your medal's in the air. It'll be there in three to five business days. <laughs> Executor, the coconut Pokemon. As it grew taller and taller, it outgrew its reliance on psychic powers, while within it awakened the power of a sleeping dragon. Okay, so what it looks like is that I got something for the Pokedex. And this one. Or not. Oh. Hello there. Timer balls? That would have been useful in now. Fail. Fuck you. <laughs> Fail. I caught it in one ball. Muck, the sludge Pokemon. What looks like fangs and claws are actually crystallized poison that will inflict to you at a, at a mere touch so you don't so don't get too close smash there's something wrong with you <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean you don't want to get what the poison can make you go have a really good trip And there's nothing wrong with me, Chew. Let's first see what the hell this thing is. Do I have you? No, I do not. Get over here, bitch. Why am I getting spammed with emails all of a sudden? Oh, sweet! Two of the YouTube copyright claims got released. Fuck yeah. Not very effective, but did half the damage. Yes. Good job, Lemon. You the, you the man. Now just hit them, hit, beat the living shit out of them one more time, without killing them. A false swipe. You could also just use a. I thought net balls were for uh, bug Pokemon. And water types. You also have dive balls, don't you? Uh, I have net balls. Let me see. There we go. Boom. She was right. I'm always right. Sure. Cedra, the dragon Pokemon. Its fin tips leak poison. Its fins and bones are highly valued as ingredients in herbal medicine. Smash. Did you say something, Chew? No. No, oh, I thought you were judging me again for smashing this Pokemon. Let's 
so we got that. Oh god. Okay, let's see if there's any new Pokemon. Wait, complete catch one Pokemon. What did I do? Oh, apparently I have quest. I, di I didn't even know I activated. Okay. new. Oh wait. Hello there. Be forever trapped within the PC that you can never escape. Wait. Chew. Since you're part Pokemon, does that mean you can go inside of a Pokeball? <laughs> Plume, the weed Pokemon. It secretes a sticky drool like nectar. Though sweet, it smells too repulsive to get very close. Pass. So it's a rider? <laughs> you. No, I do not. Get over you, bitch. Cottony, the cotton fluff, po cotton puff Pokemon. When attacked, it escapes by shooting cotton from its body. The cotton serves as a decoy to distract the attacker. Smash. I'm <laughs> not gonna comment on this Pokemon. <laughs> you would do so too. <laughs> oh no, my my joke was gonna be very very dark. Oh I'm my god, scared. now I got it. Oh my god, Chew. So wait, you understand that easily, but some <laughs> yes. of the other things that are very obvious <laughs> takes, take, get to the point where we have to spell it out for you. Yes! I watch a lot of Vanos gaming, so I can tell those jokes pretty quickly, too. <laughs> well, damn, I need to stay away from Vanos gaming now. Well, it's mainly, basically, I do work who does that jokes anyway. Not really Vanos. No. Oh, it's just a giveaway I have to. Okay. Enter it. You might win something. I already entered. There's just an email confirming that my entry went in. I'm not someone who's gonna pass up free stuff. Horsey, the dragon Pokemon. It maintains balance using its tail, which is wound up like a coil. It may spray ink from its mouth. Smash. Don't judge me. <laughs> I'm just pretending like I don't hear you. That's my way of getting through this. Its mouth is perfect for blowjobs. I don't know this person. <laughs> You're in call right now. I was dragged here against my will. <laughs> Bullshit. <laughs> Sea 
Seal, the sea lion Pokemon. The colder it gets, the better it feels. It joyfully swims around oceans so cold that they are filled with floating ice. I drop my controller like a fucking dumbass. And there we go. I got my controller back. I'm passing on this one. Why is the seal lion a seal? Don't worry about it. This children's video game isn't very realistic. <laughs> or is it? <laughs> That's a Seedra, not a Kingdra. Oh, a Dugong! I'll be able to finish one of my side quests soon. God damn it. Haha! <laughs> Lemon avoided your attack. Don't forget uh, Right. False wipe did not do much. God damn it. Quit using dive, you piece of shit. I don't give a fuck. Oh, that was easy. Dugong, the sea lion Pokemon. It stores thermal energy in its body to fend off the cold. It swims at 8 knots even in frigid waters. I don't know how fast 8 knots is. Hang on. That's a little over 9 miles per hour. Oh damn. Yeah, I, I want to fight you. Thank you. Oh, a Lapras. Smash. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> Faith Hay for Team Praise to Bright's ass and pick you at it. Hello, Faith Hay. How are you? Right. So I'm just redeemed Bonk Bright. That didn't work. It does 100% of the time. A Master Ball. <laughs> Lapras is just watching me fight. Nope, it lost interest. <laughs> I actually learned something funny about Lapras. What? So you know how like in the original games it was saying the Pokedex was saying that it is a very much that it's nearing extinction. Yeah. Well now it's overpopulated. Because conservation methods work too well. <laughs> so now it went in the opposite direction, and there's too many of them. Well, it's Lapper season now. Don't you ever wanted to try some Lapper's meat?
Honestly, yeah. I would. <laughs> I would try some. <laughs> Wolfish, the balloon Pokemon. It absorbs toxins from the food it eats, and distinct purple spikes on its body are evidence of its potent poison. Smash. Oh, that's why the netball didn't work. It's not a water type. <laughs> well, I still caught it, netball. In that case, you would have wanted a dive ball. Ah. Uh, you might want to invest in some. Suppose, suppose there was a kid in Gen 2 that was breeding and releasing a lot of Lapras. God damn it. Uh, Fucking quillfish bitch. I only wanted one of you. At first. Whoops, wrong area. Now I think. That I got a trophy thing. Okay, I got an ability capsule. That's useless to me. Do I have you? No, I do not. We're just staring at Lemon's ass. <laughs> I don't know who we is. I don't speak French. Because <laughs> I'm just a great ang angle. Oh, well, there you go. There's your Wii. <laughs> you got your Wii for Christmas. Have fun. It, it's Hearing you say that actually reminded me of an old meme where a kid just shouts out Nintendo 64 and slams his hands on it. <laughs> Lapras, the transport Pokemon, able to understand human speech and very intelligent. It, sw it loves to swim in the sea with people on its back. And now they're everywhere. Oh, so it's a bottom. Got it. Shut the fuck up, Brian. <laughs> oh, you do the thing. Do you should have expected that. It's French shades, says Sanju. Sanju, do the thing. Do the thing right now. Why don't you do the thing? Because I'm lazy and, and distracted. Why is my switch making noise? Oh, you're playing oh, Splatoon 3. Area. Yeah, I was about to say, you're playing Splatoon 3. <laughs> I got bonked. <laughs> what the fuck is that thing walking around? Right there. I don't know what that thing is. Oh, that's Duosion, the evolution of this. Uh, Solosis, a cell Pokemon. They drive away attackers by unleashing psychic power. They can use telepathy to talk with others. Oh wait, no. I oh, it was a you cub shoe. Bright, bright. Catch that. Yeah, they are. They used to be very, very tanky, as far as I understand. And trust me, you're gonna, you're gonna want that because they are apparently good as far as Gen 5 goes. Porygon. Yep. All that right. was easy. Chat, I want you. Everyone in chat, I want you to say Porygon did nothing wrong. Well, I mean, some people have seizures. Porygon did nothing wrong. <laughs> Porygon oh, yeah. Porygon didn't do anything. It was Pikachu. That was Pikachu. the people who made the episode. Oh, yeah. 
it. Ranunculus, the multiplying Pokemon. When Ranunculus shakes hands, a ne network forms with their brains, increasing their psychic power. Not may have done nothing wrong. Porygon is innocent. <laughs> nah, they may have not done nothing wrong. They've literally never been allowed to appear in Pokemon media ever since that one episode. Ooh, I like this Pokemon's level. It's level 69. Bad. That was easy. <laughs> Mangino, the chinchilla Pokemon. These Pokemon like things neat and tidy. They are always sweeping and dusting their habitat, using their tails as brooms. Smash, since it's because of its level. <laughs> I'm sorry, Chu. You will not see the pearly gates. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> I can meet some succubi you down in hell. What do you mean, right? You're the one Christian here. Yeah, I can see succub succubi in hell. That'd be perfect. <laughs> she was judging me right now. <laughs> That's not what I'm judging you for. <laughs> oh look, the bear... That bear tick only has big mounds of fur near the groin region. So it has big pubes, got it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Delusion, the mitosis Pokemon. When their brains with when their brains now divided in two are thinking the same thoughts, these Pokemon exhibit their maximum power. God damn it. No. Oh my gosh. It was shoving his poop pubes at me. Oh damn. I messed up. It wasn't my fault. I already got a Renekton, so I'll need to fight that one. Get over here. What, Pokey and Dialga? Oh, so I was about to say, because I, I got both of them. Oh yeah, Chu, did you use the, the codes I posted in gaming chat? I haven't played Pokemon in a while. Uh, the reason I said it is because you can get a free uh, Darkrai and a free uh, a Shiny Lucario. I'm aware. I follow Pokemon on Twitter. Uh, do you wonder if Porygon... Oh god damn it, Porygon. Do you wonder if Porygon knows they are in a game? <laughs> Probably. Electra Buzz! Uh, oh, no, that, that's not its name, right? Oh, Electra Buzz, not Electra Buzz. <laughs> Do I have 
one of those poke balls that are good for um, cave Pokemon. Because we're in a cave right now. Let's see. Do you have dust balls with you? I've seen. You got a moon ball. <laughs> but no. That is uh, the same thing. Oh, I got the ultimate Pokeball right here, the Beast Ball. <laughs> God damn it. Yes, charge like the uh, like the buzz. God damn it. This may take a while. Got it. Finally. Oh wait, are there gonna be a Pokemon I have to trade to get? Probably. I like the Buzz, the electric Pokemon. Research is progressing on storing lightning in Electabuzz, so this energy can be used at any time. That sounds unethical. They help my full support. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> right, you say I'm sorry a lot, but you continue to do the things you're supposedly sorry for. <laughs> That's not how apologies work. Or is it? So I guess what I'm saying is you truly are a streamer. <laughs> exactly. Chilper, the mole Pokemon. It makes its way swiftly through the soil by putting both claws together and rotating at high speed. That reminds me, one time when I was little, I remember holding a mole that was trying to break free from my hands, but it couldn't. And instead of killing it, uh, my parents just told me to throw it in the neighbor's yard. Why did you kill a mole that wasn't doing anything? Well, it was in our yard digging holes. Who cares about your yard? There's <laughs> nothing going on in there. Wow. More holes makes it interesting. <laughs> oh my, clip that, clip that. <laughs> I didn't say anything. So I don't see what you're trying to go with there, but okay. <laughs> sure. Oh, I got the Violet Core. Minior, the Meteor Pokemon. It feeds on dust in the atmosphere. The color of its core is said to be determined by the composition of the dust it eats. Hey Chu, you want to join me shiny hunting Minior? I don't do shiny hunting, I think it's dumb. I used to. I need to get back into it because I had fun doing it. I still think it's dumb. I'm not backing down from this position. Weren't you part of the streams when I did that? No, I was part of the streams when you were just playing. Alright, it was Cheerio, Derna, and Hatchet. Oh look, it's Chu's favorite Pokemon. It was a Joltik. Yeah, burn it in the fire. Hmm. Joltik, the attaching Pokemon. Since it can't generate its own electricity, it sticks onto large body Pokemon and absorbs static electricity. That means it will stick to you, Chew. Great. Murder. Why? In the prize. Ooh, 
Ooh, I'm going deep inside of this hole. You're not, you're not gonna say anything about that. I was only partially paying attention. I'm playing a game where I have to focus on not dying. Oh, uh, so you didn't even hear what I said. I heard you, I just wasn't listening. Oh. <laughs> I'm being living shit out of this child. Have fun with that. <laughs> you don't want to join on being the shit of a child? <laughs> Even though, um, most doctors wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> Probably for good reason. Elegate, the electric Pokemon. It rotates its arms to generate electricity. But it tires easily, so it only turns us up a little bit. Is there anything else good in here? Oh god. I see a bunch of sticky webs. What is the Tynamo? I don't have you for some reason. They do their best, okay? <laughs> Sure, Zanji. Blossel, the cheering Pokemon. This Pokemon absorbs electricity from telephone poles. It shorts out the electricity stored inside of its body to create noises. There's mining. I caught your uh, sister or brother, I don't know which. Minin, the cheering Pokemon. Its dislike of water makes it take shelter under the eaves of houses in rain. It uses pom-poms made of sparks for cheering. Alright, let's see. Anything else good in here? Big spider or ha Yes. I can't choose second favorite Pokemon. Galvantula, the Alice Spider Pokemon. When attacked, they create an electric barrier by spitting out many electri electrically charged threads. I 
kind of curious. What the hell is that? Oh, I already have that, so I'm not going after it. Absolutely nothing up here, so what's the point of making this area accessible? Oh, probably for this purpose. <laughs> I have found my way out. I think. I honestly don't know. I have no fucking clue where I'm going. Have you considered looking at a map? Nah, maps for losers. Don't you have a map on the screen at all times? Maybe. I don't pay attention to it. But you still have it. Yes. Meaning you're a loser. At all yes. times. Unintentionally. Unintentionally. So? So that kind of d defeats your, your, your detrimental <laughs> opinion of a map, doesn't it? No. I think it does. I'm a fucking loser, obviously, too. <laughs> Tigro. Tyro, the scuffle Pokemon. Its intense desire to become stronger and stronger drives it to recklessly train its body and challenge any opponent it can find in battle. This is a lowland graveler. God damn it. Double edge, please. God damn it. Oh, wait, did it survive on one HP? Yes, it survived on one HP. Okay, now uh, you stay in the goddamn Ultra Ball. Thank you. Graveler, the rock Pokemon. Graveler's entire body is electrically charged due to the stones it likes to eat. It is a very quick-tempered Pokemon. They say there are going to be traded Pokemon. It's the only way to get a goal is by trading it, I believe. I, I believe. Unless I'm wrong, who knows? I don't give a fuck. Anyways, I want to catch more Pokemon while heading over to the center part where I'm told to go. Geodude, the rock Pokemon. If you step on a Geodude sleeping on the ground, you'll hear a sapping sound and feel a tingling shock throughout your entire body. and heal lemon as they need it. Let's 
see any new Pokemon. I caught more than just one extra. Well, that would be interesting to see where that goes. Oh, I found it. I found the central plaza. That's where I'm supposed to go. Apparently, um, Avengers 5 has been retitled. Oh. It's no longer called Avengers the King Dynasty. Now it's just called Avengers 5. <laughs> That's a perfect name. Because the guy playing King the Conqueror has been fired. Oh shit, really? Yep, just today. What? Did they do anything really bad or something? Allegedly. Ah. Uh. And that is all I can say without getting in trouble. Allegedly. Oh, I see. Anyways. Ah, the euphoria of synchronization. Oh, hello there. My name is Sinclair. I'm quite the outstanding researcher, you know. Would you like to help me out by practicing an amazing experiment I'm working on? Sure, I don't give a fuck. That's a spirit. Let's have a test later again. Oh, god damn it. I wanted to heal my Pokemon. You need to have a Pokemon out for, of its bow for this experiment. Just let me know once you're ready. Okay, uh, go Lemon. Oh, you got me candies. Thank you, Lemon. You're a good boy. Are you ready to help me out with this amazing experiment? Yes. This is brilliant. Let's get started then. Synchronize! Wait, what? What's going on? Oh my uh. god, I am Lemon now. <laughs> Your mind and feelings are now synchronized with those of your Pokemon. Now you're all synced up. Your Pokemon will move as directed by your thoughts. Let's start the movement test. There's a tree in front of this Pokemon. Try moving there. Oh my gosh, I am flying through the air as Lemon. I've seen someone do this with Claude Sire, and it is absolutely precious. Ah. Uh. They just plop along. Oh. Oh yes, you're so in sync. They want to get some very useful data from this session. Thank you so much. Here's a little something from Drill. Rare candies. I'll take those. I'm in town for this. Would you mind sticking around for just one more experiment? Just a bit more work than the last one, but I'll give you something really nice that afterward. Since you told me that, Chew, um, I'm gonna take the chunk out to be first. It is very funny and very cute. The chonk. I the chonk is in it's putting me inside of them. I need to help me out. I don't know this experiment. Yes. Okay, then here we go. Synchronize. Busta. Busta! No! Busta! Busta! Enough! Busta! Enough! Busta! No! Sorry, he gets protective when he can't see the door. Uh, outside the door. My feelings are synchronized with those of your Pokemon once again. Since this is your second time synchronizing, you should be able to do all sorts of things. So let's begin to, begin to bend with this. Try taking on some of the other Pokemon in the area. Oh, God, so I was asleep. Eh, 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 <laughs> It's so cute. Look at him go. I 
I'm glad this isn't time because that was adorable. You should be able to do such things like fall asleep as your Pokemon. <laughs> It's a little face. That's not a seal of thought inside that Con Consire's head. And we love them nonetheless. Yes. Yes, we do. Oh, I found out. Um, I was looking at the Pokemon store. Apparently, they did make Claude Sire, uh, Claude Sire plushies. I don't know if they still sell them, though. As they should. <laughs> I want one, though. Ah, yes. You've got the best synchronization I've ever seen. I'm sure someone with your talent could put this amazing invention to good use. I got the synchro machine. It's still a prototype, so it's designed to look a little uninspiring. You can use it to synchronize whenever you want. Try it out with lots of different Pokemon. Oh, so that's the final gift. I didn't even mean to talk to her. I was trying to g heal my Pokemon. There are lots of other funny moments with the synchronized minigame. Doing <laughs> it with a Joltek makes you move just really, really slow and you just um, scuttle along at a very low speed. Zandra <laughs> uh, says, congrats, you got the Pokey Furry Machine. God, it's fucking her. Wait, so does that mean Chu always has the Pokey Furry Machine on? I'm sorry. More or less. <laughs> so can we push her off the ledge, please? No. <laughs> why not? Because <laughs> fuck you, that's why. No, fuck her. She's <laughs> abusive. So, yeah. Things are a bit rough right now. Couldn't agree more. Oh, you have a visitor, Carmine. Long time to see, Evan Brown. I bet you missed me, huh? No. <laughs> What? Did your wonderful memories of me all oh, wither away since we last saw each other? <laughs> what wonderful memories? <laughs> Time for me to go. I've seen you, Carmine. So long. Lucky. Ah. No, stop. Take us with you. <laughs> okay. See you around. Oh. I wasn't expecting that. Anyways. It's one of my classmates. She's an interesting one. Uh. Hmm, speaking of classmates. It feels kind of weird seeing you here at my school. It makes me nauseous to see you here at your school. <laughs> oh, I got you. And look at you. You haven't changed at all since we last met. What, do you want me to have bigger tits or something? You have no right to criticize the things I say ever again. <laughs> you lost that right. <laughs> I mean, I got the good ass, I just need bigger tits. <laughs> I can feel right, too let's not judging me. yourself too much here. Come on, let's not do that here. <laughs> Yeah, we do have OnlyFans. <laughs> I'm gonna assume and hope that you're lying. I don't have an OnlyFans, don't worry. <laughs> if I did, I'll just post feet pictures. Well, you gotta get the bag somehow. Yeah, I did. Get the bag. <laughs> and as for me, well, I've been having Miss Bride with the research. We've been to all sorts of different regions. It's made, my, it's made my Pokemon a lot stronger than they were the last time we battled. 
<laughs> you want to see? Oh, you totally want to see. Oh, now you get to see me whoop her ass. Now well, we have a battle quit right here. So get into position. Also, I see no point in bringing, that in, bringing in this synchronized mechanic and not coding Ash Greninja into the game. Oh my god, yeah. That makes no sense. Like, if you bring your Greninja from Sun and Moon that has the Battle Bond ability, mm -hmm. it will not transform into Ash Greninja. It will just receive a stat boost every time it defeats Pokemon. Oh, kind of like the Ultra Beast. Yeah, and it's lame. Like, are you telling me that... Oh, what, what, it was... Ash Greninja's already existing transformation sequence too difficult for you. <laughs> yet, yet you can make Pokemon like Muck look like actual sludge. That that's where your attention went to. Okay, Game Freak. <laughs> okay, you ready for a double battle? You won't know what hit you. Actually, I will, cause fuck you. So excited to bring Greninja into this game too, but now there's literally no point, so now it, he's just gonna sit Pokemon home. Okay, one thing is why do they put so much detail into the eye color, but not into the rest of the person? Shh. Good thing. That's not allowed. <laughs> you don't get paid to think. The Chonk and Grand Inferno. Be a special treat since you came all this way. Get ready to eat terrarium dirt. I would rather just throw it right in your face. <laughs> right. Low kick on my Vienna. Let's see. Flying flower, two cannon. <laughs> oh wait, I think there's actually a special dialogue if Pokemon at least comes out. Okay. I, think. I can't remember. Is that the, why don't you use one of those not very effective moves sometimes? No. Screw you. You know what? We're about to find out. So I'm gonna switch out the chalk. In. Wait, have I been misspelling Ogre Pond this whole time? Apparently. No, this won't this won't stay in. Hang on. Oh my god, I have been. <laughs> I have the R switched. Hey oh hey, Ogre Pond. Aw, you you must have really missed me, huh? No. And Ogre Pond almost died. <laughs> uh, Super Fang always does half damage. That would have happened to anyone, even your strongest Pokemon. Oh, one HP. <laughs> and goodbye, Scrafty. Poker Pond's gonna die. <laughs> Hospitality. How is Sinistra gonna have an ability like that when it's pre-evolution but really it has a body count? <laughs> right. That's it, I'm ready to go on. <laughs> Time for a Terran Lita. Which Pokemon are they choosing? Probably Sinistra. Because that seems to be her ace in the hole for some reason. Even though it's about to be one shot. Or 
Or maybe not. It survived, but barely. <laughs> they didn't even get to move to attack because of the fucking... A Grand Inferno dodged the hit. So now we're just being the living shit out of this job. And burn again. Yeah. That did not go the way I played. Fuck you, Carmine. Oh, yeah. Yes, and yes, I do legitimately hate her this much. How could you tell? <laughs> Eric, I got so much stronger once I, I could try to size my Pokemon, but you just had to go get even stronger, didn't you? My Pokemon are so higher level than yours, you dumb motherfucking bitch. You still couldn't hold- It didn't hold back in battles, huh? Another thing that hasn't changed a bit. Well, it's night, been fun tonight, everyone. All right, night, Sanju. What time is it? Oh, wow. 10.15, I think. Your time. Ah, so I have been streaming for three hours. I only have two more hours to go. All right, wait. No, I don't. I have four, technically. Because I'm going till 2 a.m. as long as I feel well to do it. Hey, by the way, have you, uh, run into Kiki yet? No, I haven't. Oh, never mind. You haven't seen him yet. It's fine. Are you kidding me? What? Was this assignment too hard for you, too? Wait, that's... What the fuck happened to Kiki? He looks like he's about to activate the rumbling. Yeah. I knew it. That's Kieran. Phew, you want sauce. Wait, that's Kieran? <laughs> Shh, keep your voice down. I thought I told you to, to train five Pokemon to battle with. So, sorry, things have been really hectic at home this month. Oh, got it. So that means you're just okay being this week forever. That's what I'm hearing. What the fuck happened to you? <laughs> My sympathy is starting to disappear. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> which, means which means there's only one rational thing to do. Beagle. Hate both of them. <laughs> he turned into car a male version of Carmine. <laughs> No, he turned into the Joker. He he wants to be both Aaron Yeager and Sephiroth. <laughs> and he's terrible at being both. <laughs> no, hi. Well, since you're so busy, I'll go ahead and do you a favor. I'll write your resignation from the club for you. I don't need people in my club who don't take it seriously. Wait, Karen. I'm sorry. Give me another chance. What a bitch. Not what you were expecting, right? Kiki looks different. Acts different. He has been the same since we yeah. got back from the school trip. Yes, because of you. Well, that was painful to watch. Who the fuck are you? If it isn't Carmine and Carmine's new mystery mystery friend. I think I might have heard of you though. Are you the new kid with the wild backstory? What what a lovely surprise. Just the annoying bow so I didn't want, want to run into. See, she's still awful. <laughs> Come on now, at least introduce me. This is Drayton, and he's the worst. 
He's the strongest trainer at Blueberry Academy. Well, he was at least. Beautiful intro. Thanks. This is Erin Bright. She's here on a foreign exchange program. Oh wait, that's Carmine. <laughs> this is Erin Bright. She's here on a foreign exchange program. She's my friend, Ian. What about Kieran's? Uh, Kieran, you friends with that guy? Yeah, we were friends. <laughs> Oh, I see. That's great. All right, Aaron Bright. How about I show you our club room? What about no? Huh? Why do you need to do that? You haven't joined any, any of the clubs we got here, right? Take it from me. You'll have a way better time if you here if you join one. I don't wanna. I like doing things solo, bitch. We'd love to have an interesting new member. In fact, we better call dibs now. Come with me. No. Go fuck yourself. Hey, hey hold on. Gah, see? I told you he's the worst. Look at him, just assuming we'll go along with whatever. I'm going yeah, with you. You do the exact same thing. <laughs> I hate Carmine so much. And she loves you. Ew. Right, no. <laughs> Never say anything in that- in this context ever again, for multiple reasons. Oh. Okay. And here we are. Hey, are you sure this is a good idea? You know, cuz... Cuz Kieran? Nah, don't worry. He won't show up here anytime soon. If you say so. Anyway, this is the base of operations for the League Club. On the behalf of the whole club, glad you're here. Yeah, glad to beat your ass. <laughs> glad you asked. We Blueberry Cat Academy students have our own Pokemon battle ranking system. The BB League. Here in the League Club, we battle each other and train up so we can climb the ranks. We win, we lose, we have a good old rowdy time. This is our humble club in a nutshell. You're not wrong, but seriously, that's how you explain it to new, to new people. Yup. Though I guess we're having less of a good old rowdy time than usual lately. I'm a member of the club too. I don't show up to the club very much though. Just FYI, the, the top four trainers in the BB League are, are called the BB League Elite Four, and this annoying toothpaste-haired bozo is one of them. So is that girl you saw with me at the terrarium earlier. Too bad you didn't make the cut, Carmine. I've just been too busy with extracurricular stuff. Haven't had the time for league matches. We're talking actual skill. I'm way above any of the Leap Four. <laughs> That's no lie. What you think, Era Bright? Fun club, huh? No. <laughs> I have a feeling you're more into the idea of than you're letting on. No, not really. Fuck you. Let me out of here. Anyway. Thing that takes care of it. You're in. On a trial basis. God damn it, I'm being the living fuck out of you. <laughs> huh? What do you mean, trial basis? You heard me. As far as Dracer's concerned, we're clubmates now. Trial basis, clubmates. So now you can use this club room freely and do whatever th with the stuff here. Check out the computer here too, over there too. It's super helpful. No. 
Seems you're BP to support kids in other clubs. They will return the favor in different ways. Here, give it a shot, and, and you'll see what I mean. I don't want to. Fuck you. You're gonna want to if you want that Pokedex complete. Try saying that to Mitch in the baseball club. He can help you out with thro with your throwing arm. Things poor and bad. Wish we could do it in person, but let's try pitching some ideas for new ways to throw. See, I was thinking I could hold my hand like this. Get me? Then I swing my leg and hi -ya. Yeah, you know what? I think that'll work. Talking through this with you really helped. We've come up with a real home run here. If you ever want to change, change how you throw your Pokeballs, just give me another call. Oh, well, I really don't give a shit. Oh, whoa, you did it. Not bad for your first time. They'll teach me to doubt. That'll teach me to doubt your skills. Here, I've got a really nice present for you from one charming catch to another. A catching char- Oh, I like that. Wait a minute. You don't get the catching charm when you beat the Pokedex, and that means what charm do you fucking get after you beat the Pokedex? You can have this, too. Just, huh? I was just thinking about how bizarre it is how the whole Elite Four is filled with the children and the grandchildren of regular Elite Four and um, gym leaders in the Inova region. That doesn't scream nepotism to me. <laughs> you can have this, too. Put it on, and you'll look just like the Drayster. I don't want to wear it. Anyway, feel free to, to computer it up in any way you want. Like I said, we're trial basis club beats now. And that's not all. For a limited time, you can have as many of these snacks as you want. I don't want any of them. Those snacks are all yours, Drayton. Snacks you leave around open and half finished. I don't go near any of them. Who knows how long you've been sitting around. All that ex explained left me starving. Then I'm gonna head over to, on over to the cafeteria. How about you finish your fucking snacks? If you don't want to officially join us, maybe we can have a cafeteria date to talk details. Wait, what? No. Hey, what? Be seeing ya. I, I, no, I don't like you. <laughs> ah, that bozo. Seriously, what is his problem? And a cafeteria date? What does he even mean by that? Well, a date is. <laughs> no, I know what a date is. Were you seriously about to explain it to me? Yes, I was. I'm a dick. <laughs> ah, sorry, being in here puts me on edge. Let's go somewhere else. Someplace people won't bother us. I know. Let's go to your room. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait, what? No, no, no. I'm gonna have to stop you right there. Um. So, so here's the thing, Carmine. I despise you. I hate being near you. And I want you far away from me as much as possible. <laughs> right. But yeah, you can finally choose to get more ways to throw out your Pokeballs. Say you're not basic like everyone else. Oh, I'm gonna need the Terrarium Club. my door room here? Oh 
God damn it. Well, it looks like this is your room. Most BP students live in the dorms, you know. What do you think? How's it compare to your dorms rooms back at your school? So blue. <laughs> well, we're we're at Blueberry Academy. Of course it's blue. You you can come and have a look in my room later too if you want. Uh no. No, I don't. I don't want to. I don't want you in here. <laughs> Oh, but I get distracted. There's something I need to tell you. It's about Drayton and, well, Kiki. What, Kieran? Kiki is... Well, you saw how he is. He's scaring me nowadays. Ever since we got back from Kitakami, he's like... It's like he's become a totally different person. He's I been, wonder why. <laughs> yeah. He's been battling and training every day. He's even cutting back on sleep. He's, he's definitely gotten stronger. Drayton used to be the strongest student here, but Kiki beat him. Now Kiki's the president of the league club, and the BB league champion. I guess he must be pretty busy. He barely talks to me anymore. Oh well, he's probably just going through a rebellious phase. No! <laughs> it is a side effect of b abuse. Both verbal and emotional, and based on what you implied in part one, possibly physical. Oh my god. Kieran's changed, but you, you stay the same. If Kieran's down to just one friend these days, I'm glad it's you. Keep sticking with him, would you? I can say no. I can say no. Should I chew? Yes. I walk up right to her and say no. Can't you read the room? You were supposed to say yes. See? And there's one more thing I need to tell you about. Not Drayton? Eh, hey, Drayton, don't trust that knucklehead. He might seem like a snacker, but don't let him fool you. He's up to something. He's really, he's a real annoying super jerk. He barely even goes to class. He has... He's had to repeat the same year three times. Point is, don't let your guard down around him, ever. She's really throwing stones in a glass house, isn't she? Yeah, you're going on your date. I mean, you're gonna go hang out with Drayton later, right? Is she just more upset that I'm going on a date with Drayton and not her? Well, looks like it's time for spite. <laughs> I'd go with. But if I don't finish up this report today, I'm really going to be in trouble. I'd love for you to join the league club. But if Drayton gives you any trouble, don't be afraid to give him a good sucker punch. Oh my, and she just stays in my room. <laughs> Get out. She's just staying in my Oh, now I got multiple areas to go to. Let me turn this. All right, I want to see if I can change my hair color and eye color to be like Sword and Shield, where I look like an emotional husk. Oh. Wait, the terrarium's not inside? The terrarium is underwater. She's asking you to go to the entrance above the surface. Okay, so Caldea. Oh yeah, I haven't even refought the gem leaders yet. I could. Now I gotta find the clothes shop in the hair salon. So I unlocked a whole bunch of shit that I've yet to touch. <laughs> Cause I'm a moron. Let's see. What's this? That's not it. No idea what this is. Can't go inside. That's a coffee place.
There are so many food places. That looks like a seafood place. That's a sandwich place. Salon here. Eh, I don't think it's a hair salon. What the fuck is the salon? Here we go. I have found it. I did not use a map. Is this it? Uh, nope, I went the wrong place. This just sells bags. God damn it. I want a different hairstyle and eye color. I can have it be black. Okay, now we get, gotta figure out if I can change my eye color. If I can change my eye color at all. You can, just not at the salon. You have to do it through your um, character customization in the pause menu. Oh, okay. Time to become a soulless husk. I just got. Oh, wait, hang on. I think you have to hit minus. No? Or is it Y? Why just opens up the map? There is a button that you put. Oh wait, there you go. Um, change photo. Tra profile picture, trainer icon. I guess profile picture. Oh no wait. Oh, that's not it. Hang on. Because I know you, you can. So hit left on the D-pad. Oh, there we go. And change the Oh, wait. 
Hang on. Oh, there we go. There's a better black. Tonal dark. Oh dear God! <laughs> Chew, look what I have done. That just looks like standard anime eyes. What's the issue? Oh, what about this? That's tr that's called trying too hard at a cosplay at a cosplay contest. Let me do that. They don't have the actual uh total black uh that had in and sword and shield. I have so many backpacks I didn't even know I had. That, that, it didn't even change. No, I'm not wearing that. Oh, God damn it. Okay, there we go. Thank you, Chew. Now I can actually go back to what I was doing. <laughs> A date with Drayton. What the hell? Why did it not let me do it? Thank you. A weird fucking glitch there. Time to go on a date with a person I don't want to go on a date with. That sounds normal, right, Chu? I was only partially listening. What happened? I said now I'm going to go on a date on with someone I don't want to go on a date with. No. Don't do that. I have to to progress the story. Hey, Aaron Brat. No need to stand there. Grab a seat. Here's the Dreister Tay. Academy Special. Special's the best thing on the menu. It's also soft, you can basically just gulp it down, barely even need the chew. 
chew your food, Drayton. <laughs> you and my ma would get along. So listen, your Pokemon are pretty strong, yeah? A team like that, you've got a shot at becoming the BB League champion. No shit. Wouldn't that be wild, an exchange student just rolling up here and snatching the crown? I want to see you join the BB League, Aaron Bright. You win? Sure, I'll. Look who decided to grace us with their presence. Oh, the BB League Leap 4. Wow, it's the champion! And the rest of the Leap 4! What did you want to talk about? Nothing special. Just thought we could grab a bite. We're better to do that than the cafeteria. What a waste of time. You got so much time to goof off. Why don't you, you go train your Pokemon? You think maybe this is why you always lose to me? My sympathy is continuing to take a nosedive. <laughs> I'll, take, I'll take that as a no. So I can't swing a lunch date with you, even if I've got your old pal with me. Don't bring me in this. Then <laughs> just why are they like, get me out of here? <laughs> Look. I haven't even got my food. Yeah. Where the fuck is my food? I mean, I got a coffee. <laughs> oh yes, that sure is to keep you from dying of starvation. A nice cup of dirty bean water. <laughs> yeah. Huh? Aaron Bright? You look different. What? Why? You didn't hear that she was coming to study abroad here? For real? Yes, it's true. Director Silazar himself introduced her to me when we met at the school entrance. We're already tight, us too. No, we're not. Shut up. Yeah, shut the fuck up. In fact, I was just asking Aaron Bright to join the BB League. Ooh, I like it. That'd be fire. What? Student from another school. Joining the BB League, unprecedented. I don't like her either. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's right. Aaron Bright might be wonderfully capable in battle, but that doesn't mean she belongs in the BB League. Says the person I who lost. You too. Yeah. Says the person who lost to me. <laughs> Anyone who like worships authority this hard automatically loses my respect. <laughs> it's, so basically, half of the Elite Four right now is on my shit list. <laughs> oh come on! Do y'all hate fun and friendship or something? You want to exclude someone who's taking our classes and living in our same dorms? Clearly they do. How's she not one of us? And isn't the place supposed to be all about students having? A, a, autonomy. Autonomy. I don't even know what that is. It means control over yourself. Like, oh. whenever you hear abortion rights activists talk about bodily autonomy, it's control oh. over your own body. Got it. I think we should vote on it. Yay, democracy! <laughs> I'm a yes. Honestly, how about you, Lacey? I, I, I'm sorry, but considering the rules, it's a no for me. Rules are meant to be broken. Fuck you, Lacey. What about you, Chris Penn? Huh? Yeah, why not? I like Chris Penn. She's at our school. That makes her a student like us, right? Thank you, Chris Penn. How about you, Amaris? What do you say? I abide by the rules for the, for this institution. Proposition declined. Bootlicker. Two against two, huh? Alright then. What says the reigning BB League champion, our mighty Kieran? It doesn't matter who I'm facing. I don't lose. Okay, Aaron. 
<laughs> Guess we've got our answer. Ah, uh, Kieran, wait. Drayton, manipulating people to get what you want. It's just not right. <laughs> what? That was a vote. <laughs> She's saying that she is... Oh, wow, she really is American. She's saying the election was rigged. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and her dad is Southern. That makes even more sense. <laughs> Sorry, Aunt Bri. Guess you'll be joining the BB League, huh? Well, it looks on. Well, let's look on the bright side. Maybe you and Kieran will come out of this better friends. Don't worry, I'll be right behind you every step of the way. But now that the decision has been made, we better get you officially signed up. Meet me at the reception desk in the school's entrance area. Oh, I can go to Carmen's dorm room now. No. There is nothing holy in that area. <laughs> if, you go into that, if you go into that room, you will be possessed by the devil. There is no escape. And I don't mean the fun devil. I mean, like, the action. I mean, like, the devil people think is real. Where he did all the bad things and somehow got his bait blamed. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, don't go in that room. Now, both the chonk and N, because I don't know how to say that, uh, are at level 90. I'm gonna eventually get them all to level 100. That's my goal at some point. Honestly, I would say beat the two naysayers first, just to mess with them. <laughs> like, oh, oh, so you don't want me here, huh? All right then. How about we start? How about we? St you want you want to square up? <laughs> there you are. This is where we get you sign up for the BB League. I don't give a shit. Oh, don't mind that. We Elite Four talked over real quick. My friend here is good to join. You may sound rude, but I'm not sure if I can take what you say at face value, Drayton. No, he's telling it to you. I'm now an Aaron Bright to join the BB League. Miss yes, Champion, one moment, please. What? <laughs> she looks like she's afraid of him. <laughs> In real life, I can probably just punt the shit. The little shit right there. I can probably punt them. Punt all of them. <laughs> Didn't expect you to ride up in shiny armor and save the day. I got a feeling you're trying to play Puppet Master. But if I get, but if I get a shot at Bell and Air Bright, then that's fine with me. <laughs> that's just preachy. I mean, peachy. Air Bright. Better not go losing to anyone until our battle. Right it. Like I lose. Good. Oh god, I do not like that face. I do not like that face. He, he, he thinks he's Sephiroth. <laughs> yeah, I don't <laughs> like that you, face. Next thing you know, he's gonna set the ground on fire behind him and then just slowly turn to face the camera. He thinks he's Sephiroth, but he's not. <laughs> yeah. I like how there's that face like he's 
look at all demented, and there's just some see, uh, wingles in the background just calmly sitting on the building <laughs> like nothing's happening. They're like, what the fuck is the deal with that kid down there? <laughs> yeah. I don't know, but I think he thinks he's an anime supervillain. <laughs> Yeah. You wanna fly over and shit on him? Yeah, sure, why not? <laughs> We're late. We need to make room for lunch anyway. <laughs> oh my god, that needs to be clipped. Unfortunately, Bookworm isn't here. I guess DM them to clip it from the VOD or something. <laughs> right. Good. I'm not a little kid anymore. And you'll know it when I show you how the, how the best of the best battle. I'm gonna whoop your ass. literally a baby. Shut yeah. Hee <laughs> you shouldn't talk to Aaron Rat like that. Shut it, sis. <laughs> okay, you know what? Deserved. I'll give him a point for that. <laughs> you know what? I'll give him a high five for that one. Fair enough. Looking forward to seeing you climb the ranks. Someone needed to fucking bite back at her. I'm sorry, Am Bright. Kiki was really acting out, wasn't he? That was my first time talking to him in a while, too. Man, such an attitude. What the? <laughs> I I hate I hate when some people <laughs> aren't aware that they are part of the problem. Or, in this case, they are the cause of the problem. <laughs> He's behaving this way because of you. <laughs> no one but you. I was just the straw that broke the camel's back. And even then, that was because of things that you did. This is your fault, Carmine. But you can't realize that because you are a shitty person. Well, he's Mr. Big Deal Mighty Champion, after all. Drain, you're the one who dragged Aaron Bright into all this BB League drama, aren't you? Me? No way. This was all her idea. Right, Aaron Bright? No. <laughs> <laughs> no doubt about it. Hear that, Carmine? She's hungry for action. <laughs> I don't know. I think something's fishy going on. But well, if you're gonna do this, you might as well do your best. I'll be cheering for you. So even if you say no, <laughs> she will think that you wanted this. Wow. Please keep an eye on Kiki for me. No, I'm not your babysitter. <laughs> Thank you for waiting. Your entry into the BB League is complete. Great timing. Aaron Bright is clear to complete, but complete. <laughs> Compete in the Pokemon League. Usually you'll start by battling regular students and climbing the ranks. But seeing how you, you've got recommendations from several League 4 members and director Silazar, you'll start from a higher rank. You'll skip straight to challenging the Elite 4 at their respective bases in Terrarium. Once you clear the trials, that is. That's it. I'll go ahead and mark their locations in your Rotom phone now. Oh my gosh, I just thought about it. What What if we pulled out Ogre Pond when fighting Kiki? Damn, I wonder what's gonna happen. And who knows, considering that he might watch some of your other matches, I wonder what will happen if you bring her out during your Elite Four matches leading up to him. Uh, I'll put him a second just in case. Yeah. The challenge is... Gendering... Uh, her... God damn it, I keep forgetting, sorry. To challenge the Elite Four, you'll need BP, which you can earn by doing BPQs. If you defeat all the members of Elite Four, you can challenge a champion. Alright then, best of luck in BB League. This is probably the first time you ever needed to have money, uh, money or something like that, to fight the Pokemon League. Like, to actually fight one person at a time. Some insert joke about America here. <laughs> American capitalism at its finest. We're gonna start with whichever of us you want to your call. 
Anytime you want to battle one of us, you have to do a fun little try we cooked up first. Sounds good, rat. Catch you in a terrarium, bud. Actually, now that I think about something, I'm gonna put Ogre Pawn. I'm gonna have to do BB Quest though. I don't think I have enough. Since I have. I'm gonna see if we get Ogre Pawn more moves. Oh, and don't forget, Ogre Pawn does have other masks, you know. Yeah. What's that do now? It's not a good move. Oh, yeah. So many moves I can give it. I don't have many that are powerful. No, I'm not using Bullet Seed. Oh, it can learn Brick Break. There's a grassy terrain. I can also learn Zen Headbutt. I'm not gonna get rid of that. I'll Just make sure that. you keep IV casual. Yeah, that's what I was saying. I'm not gonna get rid of that. I think it's good for now. Alright, now we're gonna find out how to fuck, uh, what my fucking tasks are. Just forgot the button on how to act, find out what my tasks are. I know I have to catch a bunch of Pokemon. you. Right. Muddy water. That's a good move, I guess. I don't know. Alright. Let's find out... this fails, I'll use false swipe on the other one. Wow. 
Fuck you, Smeargle. I gotta catch him out in the wild. Got it. At where they can see me. Smeargle, the painter Pokemon. The color of this mysterious fluid secreted from the tip of his tail is predetermined for each Smeargle. not have you. Magmar, the Spitfire Pokemon. Wavering flames similar to those of the sun appear on the surface of this Pokemon's body. God damn it, Mandibuzz. I already have you. I'm not catching you. Let's go in here. Pain split. That's not exactly what I want. Okay. No, honestly, I have no idea what the fuck I did there. I probably have read up on how to fucking uh, look up BB Quest. So now I'm confused as to what the fuck to do or how to activate them. doing up here. Come right on. God damn it. I'm not sure why that's so bad. Oh, Chu left, uh, Aderna. It would just be me and you. But how are you? Well, that's good. That's good to see here you doing all right. You can charm me in VC if you're able to. A 
Araquanid, Water Bubble Pokemon. It launches sticky water bubbles. Foes who lose consciousness while trapped inside these bubbles will get torn apart by Araquanid's gashing claws. But jaws, not claws. God damn it. Alright, I'll hydrate and stretch. I'm stretching right now. Pokedex? Sweet! I have no idea how many Pokemon I've captured so far. 110. Good to know. 120. Got into our coal? Yes, I got into our coal. Anything else that spawns up here? You know about. I got you, right? Yeah. Do I have a camera up? Yes, I do. Leap into the water. Leap. Seven out of ten. Sweet. Complete. Eight out of ten. Dewpider, the water bubble Pokemon. It supports the water bubble that envelops its head with three of its legs. Sometimes it secretly swaps which legs are holding up the bubble. <coughs> Tactic Foundation. The thing I don't like about the music for this game is how similar it is to The Legend of Zelda's. Ah. Not Kindras. So I don't need to fight them either. That's a talent flying, so I don't need to fight them. It's very good build up. Oh god, I almost dodge. Did not dodge that. Earth power's not a bad move. What's in here? No. Okay, this is different. See any Pokemon yet, though? Did I catch you guys yet? Yes, I have. Surprise, bitch. It's a uh, Lolo and Diglett. I think.
Diglett, the mole, in, the mole Pokemon. Its golden whiskers function as sensors. It pokes them out of its burrow to monitor its surroundings. Okay, I see its evolution distance. to use false wipe. Oh, you know Earthquake. That's not really going to affect Lemon much. Hello, Minior. Can you please get away from Lemon's ass? Please. <laughs> Why are you near Lemon's ass? Please leave. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, Lemon. All right, Lemon's got this. Oh, come on. Acting like a legendary, just staying the goddamn ball. Thank you. Doug Trio, the mole Pokemon. Its metallic whiskers are heavy are heavy. So it's not very fast, but it has the power to dig through even the hardest bedrock. God damn it, Diglett. I don't need another one of you. Oh my god! Why are so many little bitches? Can little bitches fuck off? <sighs> oh god. That was close. Let's go down this way. Over here. Oh, something worthless. Got you? No, I do not. these bitches whether they like it or not filling out this pokedex slowpoke the dopey pokemon 
It uses its tail to fish, but the scent of the spice emanating from its tail ens ensures its catches are always lacking. out here. Oh, just take me out of the fucking cave. Oh god. Let's see what's up down here. No, nothing. Oh, well, I'll take that. So, so it was something. What was something? What happened? I'm confused. You said nothing. Oh. That's how I was corrected. Shut up. No, it is not. Pop up easily in the wild. So let's just get two more catches so I can get BP. I really need to figure out how to see what my quests are. The BP quest. I don't know how to do it. I, I just skipped through it when it told me how. to a safe area. Ah, there we go. Defeat 10 wild Pokemon using auto battle. Successfully sneak up on one Pokemon and surprise them with a tray or with battle. Take a photo of a wild Pokemon that is swimming. Just kill. Lemon, where the fuck are you going? Lemon, what are you doing? Kill. Kill, Lemon. Oh, no. 
I, I forgot how to auto battle. That's not auto battling. Lemon. I think I bought a bunch of these. There you go. Kill. That's auto battle. Is it counting? Yes, it is. Okay, it is counting. It's just not showing. Complete. Catch one Pokemon. Well, that ought to be easy. Oh, I completed something. I didn't realize that. There we go. Caught one Pokemon. I'm hoping to get a good amount of BP from doing this. Are you? Oh my gosh, you only get 20. Oh no. Damn it. No. This is going to take a while. Oh, wait. I wonder if I change. Because I'm not going to. Okay, that's fine. I was gonna see if I can send out lemon flying in the air. Apparently, the game won't let me. another thing right yep I just need to knock this up that way that one's easy too 
No, I didn't mean to do that. God damn it. I hit the wrong button. So I need 3,000 BP, Adurna, in order to unlock more Pokemon in each of these four areas. Each. So that's kind of what I'm going to be working on for a while. Yeah. They really did us that dirty. Make yourself a TM. That I can do, I believe. Oh yeah, go to the click one from right place. I have been having Pokemon battles. Oh. Well, I definitely want to come here for stuff. It, they were like, let's artificially increase the length of this game as much as possible. Yeah. And now I'm nearly broke <laughs> with my cash. That's fine. <laughs> nearly broke, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Is forty thousand. thing no 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 oh I can do that easily Wrong button again.
Hi there, Aaron Brat. It's me, Cyclazar. Seems to take care of a good number of those BBQs. Up until now, you've only been our access to entry level stuff, seeing how you handle that. They can give you access to regular quests. Give up the good work, would you? See you around. Gosh, stop giving me this one. Catch one water type Pokemon, okay. This shouldn't be difficult. Just have to go down here. Pokemon, and then we can fucking get more BP, and hopefully. <laughs> get better quest so I can get better shit. Type. That's not hard at all. The grind. Oh yeah, and you also have to use BP to fight the Elite Four in the DLC too, by the way. That's another reason why I'm grinding for it. You have to you have to pay to fight the Elite Four. This is truly America. So let's just take a picture of it, right? Now I just have to remember how to fuck the picture. of a wild Pokemon in a fight. Yeah, I'm not doing that. For over 500 yards, I can do that. I mean, I literally just finished that one. <laughs> I just got it back again. <laughs> That's my camera. I forgot how to access the goddamn camera. Okay, there we go. I found it. That was... Jesus Christ! Why, Bookworm? Why? That was much... That was much louder, because I had the window projector open. So I heard it twice. Oh my gosh. A dragon type of one. I think I know where I can find one. So I'm not gonna get rid of that. Hey, 
As you can see, Pokemon are doing the DLC. If you don't know, in order to make more Pokemon appear, you have to pay 3,000 BP points, uh, which are these right here, for, um, for each uh, biome. And you also have to get, I don't know how many points, but you also have to get BP points to fight the Elite Four. Neat. Oh, wild Pokemon out of swimming. I'm not doing that. Oh, I don't have that one. when you say pay, I got scared. Oh no, Bookbar, not like that. I don't think they're that creepy. Microtransaction Skyway. <laughs> yeah. I think Nintendo said they, they don't want microtransactions on Nintendo Switch, but they do have microtransactions on Nintendo Switch. Let's get real. Oh, why did I throw a quick ball? God damn it. That was a waste of perfectly good quick ball. Goddamn Mega Drain. Just stay in. Goddamn Ultra Ball. Oh, come on! You're not really hurting Lemon. Just fucking stay in the ball forever for eternity. In the PC box where you locked to death. Thank you. Miss Scott, the wind veiled Pokemon. It rides on the wind and slips into people's homes. After it has turned a room into a cotton filled mess, it giggles it to itself and takes off. It's like they heard and brought to death and were like, bet. <laughs> Keep going. Have to find the savanna, wherever the fuck the savanna is. Oh, I see it. I see it in the distance. Cuz. I need to find a dragon type Pokemon. Oh, god damn it. Oh, I actually don't think I have you. No, I do not. Okay, thank you for appearing. Like, I was just mad at it at first and then went, like, oh shit, I need you. <laughs> Blossom, the flower Pokemon. After it grows up, it leaves the forest it was born in to form groups with other Blossom. It, it breaks into dance when it gets excited.
turn an Everstone. Why would I ever use an Everstone? Oh, I don't think I have you two either. Do you only come out at night or something? Well, I'm glad I was making my rounds trying to finish these tasks. Blitzel, the electrified Pokemon. This Pokemon prefers places and lots of lightning strikes. It catches lightning with its mane and stores electricity within its body. Because sometimes you don't want to keep pressing the B button. It's not an evolution. True. Oh, alright, I already have the same dial. Oh, God damn it! I already have you! I want to be able to trade someone a Haunter with an Everstone! <laughs> I would 100% do that. Oh, is that a set strike? Yes! No! Oh my gosh! I saved it last second. I saved it last fucking second. Oh my god. I almost killed it. I almost did a stupid. Step Striker, the Thunderbolt Pokemon. Once the herd hears thunder, it chases after the storm clouds so that the Blitzel and the group can use the lightning to charge up. That was actually one of the in-game trades in one of the games lol. Some hex maniac, I think, trades you a haunter and was holding an Everstone. Yeah, remember that. I have you, yes. Yeah, more quick ones seem to pop out. Oh, fuck off. Do I have you? Yes. Do I have you too? Yes. God damn it. Oh, I don't have a regular Taurus. Tauros, the wild bull Pokemon. They fight each other by locking horns, and herds protectors take pride in their battle scarred horns. Why am I being bonked? I'm confused. Why am I being bonked? What do you think? I'm confused. You're actually confusing me. I don't know what I did. Man, I love balls out. Fight that. I, need a... I can't remember. Is this fucker a dragon or. I don't know. If it's a dragon, I can get two for the price of one. Oh, I won't even tell me. Great.
Good job, Lemon. It is not a dragon. Oh, it's not? Well, we're about to find out, but just in case. Let's catch it. Oh, come on! Oh, no. Oh, it is? It is? Sweet. Two for the price of one. Sweet. There we go. Yep, it's Ground Dragon. Give your Pokemon a nice washing. I'm why? Seems like that use this uses at least three ingredients. God damn it. is very dirty. Well, I changed it, so now the sandwiches. So far, these tasks are fucking stupid. Wait, I wonder. This is so dirty then. Hey, fucker. Will you give me BP if I kill all of your Pokemon? Oh yeah, I changed the look of my character book one. I can show you I can show you after battle, you just can't see it well. But I didn't go as well as planned. Oh, let me take the hit. And Chansey died immediately. The one that's supposed to be tanky dies immediately. Oh, gee, you're using both of them. That's so cute. I only used it because Chu wanted me to. So, yeah. Otherwise, Bramble Gas will be in my party. No, beating you gives me nothing. She has good taste. That should count. That should count, right? How did that count? I snuck up on him. I snuck up on him.
Fuck you. And fuck you again. Oh my gosh, stop giving me this goddamn test. Catch one fairy type of I don't know any fairy type Pokemon. Well, maybe I do. I probably gotta go back to the... Catch a Comfy. These tasks are so goddamn annoying. picnic here's the thing I don't know if any of these guys are in the same breeding category We're about to find out. I mean, there's catching power of fairies, so there has to be one. Encounter power fairy. Okay, let's see if I can get a higher fairy though. Well, since we just need to catch a fairy, let's just do this one. I'm gonna put the lettuce on last. So fairies like BLTs. Yep. Hey, bookworm. Where do you think we got the bacon from? Sandwich. Probably Lechonk, yeah. Let's see, do we get the fairy typing? Oh yeah, that's my new look. I copied it from Sword and Shield. They don't have this the the insane eye from Sword and Shield, but but I did copy the look. God damn it, I did not want to do that. No, 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 no. Fuck off, fuck off. Oh, I got rid of all my red quests. What the fuck? I'm gonna find a fairy.
Oh wait, Chansey's a fairy, I think. So we got our fairy. No, they're a normal type. God damn it. Oh my gosh. First try, yeah. Come on. <laughs> yeah, I don't think there's any fairies in the savannah. be fairy because you got flowers sprinkling out of your horns. Let's see. Because I know your typing can change depending on the weather. God damn it. I've wasted my time catching your ass. ran over a baby deer. Thank you. I at least know where a fairy type is. There they are. Pokedex, like so it's not a waste. I already had Sauce Park, so I didn't need another one. Mm -hmm. Oh, come on! You little sack of shit. HP restored. There we go. I know for a fact you're a fucking fairy. Yep, got it. What do you need to do now? Come on. Come Give me this one. You know what? Fuck it. 
can't pick up this item. Thank you. Alright, where are you fuckers at? Let's see if I can just fight these guys and get a bunch of BP from them. Or if I actually have to pay a bunch of BP to fight them. As stupid as it is. Because I am fully fed up with those damn tasks. One of the BP challenge league challengers, yes. Need a hand over 50 BP if you want to take league challenge. Okay, I did not. I only had to pay 50. Oh. <laughs> I did so many <laughs> tasks. Come in. That's not the right voice. Come in. Oh, if it isn't Aaron Brett. I'm so glad you decided to pay me a visit. Please follow me. I'll show you to the trial site. I'm gonna beat your ass. Why do you think it would be super high? I don't know. Thank you for coming to Coastal Plaza to challenge me. And I'm really sorry for the way I protested you during BB League, and Brat. Of course, it's true that it's quite irregular under the bylaws of our school clubs. But mainly, I don't, didn't want you to get dragged into the drama that's been troubling the club lately. I suppose our trial has already officially begun, though. So let's get to it and have some fun. The trial I came up with is a Pokemon quiz. I you five questions about Pokemon. If you can answer them all correctly, then you pass. Okay. Ready to take my Pokemon quiz, Aaron Brat? So it can be too difficult or else the case will lose focus. Ready. <laughs> Explain again as a choice. Great. Then I'll just get everything ready. Oh. That's a Pikachu. Question one. All right, here we go. And look, it's everyone's favorite Pokemon, Pikachu, here to help. And with that, question one. Pikachu is an electric type Pokemon well known for producing electricity within its body. But in which part of, of its body does it store electricity it generates? Go right for the body part that you think it's correct. No. I think it's in its cheeks. Yeah! Ding, 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 you got it. Pikachu sources like electricity and, and electric sacks in its cheeks. If you poke the sacks, you get a little shack. But don't you think they're, they're just super round and cute? Now then, I think it's ready to move on to our next quiz question. Okay, that's a Venonat. Think what I've been at here. It's bigger than you think it would be, isn't it? But it's also fluffy and squeezable and terribly adorable, really. So here we go with question two. Even on the darkness night, Venonat is able to use a certain part of his body like a radar, which it allows it to detect surrounding objects. Which part of Venonat, Venonat's body acts like a radar? Go right for the body part you think is correct. Fuck. That could either be its eyes or its an antenna. Bookworm, what should I choose? Oh my gosh, stay fucking still. What should I choose, Bookworm? I'd go with the antenna. Alright. Oh, it's so close. But incorrect. I do see why you think that, though. It's right on. Give me a hint. What you're looking for is quite the large part of Venice Paddy. Guess again. Oh, I get to choose again. Uh, it's eyes. 
I get a second chance. Ding, ding, ding. That's right. It's been its big eyes that serve as radar. Isn't been that even more durable when you think about it? How it sees the whole world we can't see? Now then, I think we're ready to move on to our next question. Next quiz question. Didn't you say I would immediately lose if I don't get... Oh, what the fuck. Can you worry with my quiz? How about a cup of tea or maybe these three Sinity siblings? Why did my model freak out for a moment there? Anyways. Here's question three. Yeah, we literally cannot fail. Seems like like living precious antique tea cups. There are a lot of phonies out there. It's hard to tell which cups are genuine antiques. One of these is an antique form. Sinity meaning it found a real antique cup. So which Sinity has, has the real deal? Oh, fuck you. I can't look under it, because that's how you tell. Oh, I see it. I stole the mark. All right, let's double check this one. Okay, I don't know what we'll Yeah, I saw the mark. It's this one. Yep. I saw the mark twice. Ding, ding, ding. You spotted it. That's right. An antique form synesthy can be recognized by the mark on the bottom of its cup. But it doesn't matter whether they're antique form or, or funny form. They're all so darn cute. Now then, I think we're ready to move on to our next quiz question. Oh no. This is the Meteor Pokemon Minior. It comes in all different kind kinds of it comes in all kinds of different colors, you know. I'll first ask you to take a good look at this pinkish minior for me, okay? Oh god, okay, so it's right there. Alright guys, mix yourself real good. Perfect. Now we're ready for question four. Okay, I followed it with my finger, so I think I know which one it is. Which of these pinkest minior that I first showed you? I think it should be this one. Yes! I cheated with my finger! <laughs> ding, ding, ding! You did it! Even after they returned to their meteor form, you still managed to find the right one. Right minior adorable. Their coloration varies based on what they eat. Now then, I think we're ready to move on to the very last quiz question. Then I'll probably beat her ass. Oh, fuck, a Grand Bull. Oh, look, here comes Grand Bull. Maybe it heard the word pink and decided to stop by. As if it's cheating, exactly. This little sweetie is one of my own Pokemon. It's always with me. Our last question, question five, will involve Granbull here. Granbull is a quite delicate and lovable Pokemon. Of course you can tell me this. When I take a nap with my adorable Granbull, which part of, it, of its body do I use as a pillow? What the f That's not a fucking question! That's not a fucking question! What? I... What? That's not a goddamn question! I fuck tummy? I don't know. <laughs> that is nothing. What the fuck? Ding ding ding. That's exactly right. I use that soft, adorable tummy. When I curl up to it, so soft and cozy, we will fall asleep in just seconds. Which part is a soft spring? Oh my god, book. And that's the end of my quiz. We managed to get all five, five of my questions right, which means... Congratulations, Aaron Brat. You've officially cleared my elite trial. Wait, so we don't fight? That's it? Are you fucking kidding me? Why don't we head back to the plaza? Do I get anything as a reward? Oh, we do fight. Since you passed my elite trial, you've earned the right to challenge me to a battle. But what do you want to do now? Ready to move straight into it? Yes. 
Got it. No time to waste then, right? Let's get to our positions. Okay, this should be f about far enough. Yeah, did you forget how this game works? Maybe. Let me properly introduce myself for this. I am, I am Lacey of the Elite Four. I really didn't expect it. I had to get challenged for, from someone like you, Aaron Brett. Rightfully, you do belong to a different school. Jumpers all had trials before you could fight them. I forgot, okay, book. Honestly, I'm still a bit shocked, but I won't let my personal feelings get in the way of our battle. So, uh, let's see. First of all, I should tell you, I mostly use fairy-type Pokemon. Oh god, Lemon's at a disadvantage. There, there's just nothing I l like an adorable pink fairy, right? They're weak to poison and steel. Anything too caustic or cutting just doesn't suit them. Oh, but you must notice already, right, Aaron Bright? Now for this battle, I'm not going to hold anything back. I want to be sure you walk away with a proper understanding after all. We're about to learn the cuteness is real strength. Alright, Chu told me I always had to have Ogre Pawn come out. Because I might get something special, like dialogue or something. This time I'll be facing with my usual party as a member of Elite Four. Alright, I need to switch you out with Gran Inferno. Ogre Pawn. Ivy Curl Granbull, I guess. Knew you were aiming for lemon. Oh shit, that actually did damage. Some bullshit. This works out to go after weakness. Just why I'm turn I'll be turning it right back to you. I had fucking focus, Sash. Fuck you. Oh no. Okay, so I think if I do this, as long as Ogre Pawn goes first. That's fine. Yes! Fuck you. Get the fuck out of here. Good job, Grand Inferno. Why did you have to lay that, that kind of hit? Now that's just not right. Fuck you, Lacey. I do what I want. I just sent out Slowbro. And Al Creamy. What did they do to you? <laughs> that was part of Sword and Shield DLC, but the account I used to to do the um 
fucking shit. Uh, what's it called? Nuzlocke on. I didn't have the DLC, and I'm not gonna pay like almost 50 bucks for it again. Fuck that. Oh, Ogre Pond's going to die. Yeah. I don't want to give Nintendo more money. No, I don't. Grand Inferno, go next, go next, Grand Inferno. Fuck, of course you got a healing goddamn item. Fuck, if he didn't have that healing item, he would be dead. And there goes Ogre Pond. You did your best, Ogre Pond. Doesn't really do much to Grand Inferno that, but. Do I have any Pokemon with Steel type moves? Fuck it, we're sending out the Chonk. The Chonk. The Chonky Boy. It's kind of cool, yeah. I want to move faster. Fuck you! Yes, Grand Inferno, you move out the way! But it was worthless! It was worthless to go first because Grand Inferno dodged it! <laughs> Bitch! Chunk is poison damage, right? Yeah. Oh yeah, fairies are weak to poison. I forgot about that. Why did I have the Chunk out first? <laughs> Macy sent out exam. This is okay, so Excadrill. <laughs> My. <laughs> oh, eyes on a great virtual heart. Time to get even cuter and cuter. Should have just told you that at the beginning, too. Fuck off. Fairy type? Well, shit. Actually, they made sense to draw a fairy type. No, I think he, they just gave him fairy type moves. I don't think they're actual fairy type. I think they're steel rock or something like that. I don't know. I know it's steel something. <laughs> oh my gosh, they're almost dead. And Brian Inferno's dead. The Chonk finished them off. All oh, hail the power of the Chonk. Oh yeah, Bookworm, you weren't here to hear this, but I saw in the Pokemon shop, like owned by Nintendo, they made a Chonk plushie. They made one. I don't know if they're still selling them, but I want one. I hate losing, but I love seeing such cute Pokemon. Oh my God. I'll check if it's still, if it's still available for buying, I'll either put them on Throne or maybe buy it for myself. I don't know. Aaron Bright, Aaron Bright, did you see? Did you see our Pokemon battling it out? Ooh, it's almost too much. They were just too cute, even for me. You're the cutest, Lacey. Nope, wrong. 
we're talk we're not talking about me, we're talking about my Pokemon. <laughs> denied. <laughs> my portations were denied. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a perfect clip. I try to flirt with her and she says, no. <laughs> she said, no. <laughs> yeah. Your Pokemon were very cute as well, Aaron Brett. Phew, you know, it's just not right for two people to hug all the cuteness between them. Finally, we ring up the, the cute Pokemon here for a cute picture we can share with everyone. Hey, Forest Lacey, defeated. Ooh, this one is just too cute. I'm gonna make myself a backup copy of or three. I'll give you this as well as proof is of your cuteness. A warring voice? Okay. You really are very strong when you get serious in battle, Aaron Brett. I wonder how far you'll be able to face, able to get facing up against the strongest trainers in our school. I'll keep an, I'll be keeping an eye on you and your progress. Yo. Champ in the making. That's one Elite Four member beat. Things are looking good for you. Lacey is all about cuteness, and that's what helps make her make her Pokemon stronger. She's so into her team training, the little cuties doesn't even feel like work for to a wild rat. I bet it's a shame for you, huh? You work so hard at it because you lack it. Like a certain someone who seems busy running himself and everyone around him into the ground just to get a bit stronger. You know, Lacey is polite to everyone else, but she's really blunt with me. I wonder why. She hates you. You just might be the one we need to shake things up in the League Cup Club. And that's it for me. Good luck with the remaining Elite 3. Oh my gosh, you actually... Oh, god damn it. I broke Discord. I broke Discord. Oh, it's back. Partations <laughs> denied. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Alright. I have time to fight one more Elite Four member. Then I'll end stream. Oh, God. <laughs> Alright, so... Who would be the easiest to... Defeat now? Your dragon. I see that now. Should pay more attention. Your steel. Okay, you're gonna be the easiest. Or you. Steel and fire. Oh my god. Two of you are going to be the fucking easiest. Okay, so one Pokemon right there. Our dragon could be easy with lemon. I saw that there's a Pokemon here that I need. Where are you, you fucker? It's playing Snowpaw. It's like this, this uh, bio plume. I'll have to just remember first. This is not a bad idea. Yeah, you're probably fucking. Not spawning or whatnot. 
wouldn't be surprised. No one is doing. Do I have you? No, I do not. No, god damn it, lemon. Well, so much for that. Oh shit, I didn't even aim. Good job, lemon. The weed Pokemon. When it's when it is woken by moonlight, it, it wanders about. But during the day, it stays still underground. It was walking around and her sun out. I don't know what you're talking about. Four twenty. Oh, did I seriously get four twenty? A safari ball that's pretty fucking worthless. I'm saying because we put one. Ah. Uh. Right, so let's probably fly over to steel. I haven't been there. Shit. What's the next closest place then? I haven't been here either? Okay, well, the closest one is fire, so I guess we'll take out fire first. And then we'll do steel then drag, and then fight the champion. I'm so mad that you need three fucking thousand BP in order to get more Pokemon. That's fucking ridiculous. Boxes, god damn it. Change position with N. Alright. I'm probably gonna look up tomorrow. That way for Wednesday stream, I can find out how to get BP faster. This is fucking ridiculous. Yeah, well, blah, 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 blah. blah. So if I can exchange, like, other stuff for BP, I would. Oh, hey. I said you in the cafeteria. You am right, right? Just the person to get my energy pumping. I feel like I'm cooking at, at a nice summer over here. But we gotta move somewhere else for this next part. Follow me. 
Or do I'm guessing we have to cook food. Oh, he has a mag mortar. That's great. I'm waiting for a fire challenge like you. Like your mortal soul, or maybe your immortality. <laughs> My god. Take on Neat Fort pretty much right after coming to our school. Now that's lit. Oh my god, I want to kill him. No one are carrying any drinks in Nike. If I'm being honest, you've kindled my curiosity too. I should warn you though, my trial is no cakewalk. My elite trial is putting together a super spicy sandwich. And I mean super spicy. I want something so hot, it'll have me breathing flames. Now what you're thinking, that sounds easy, right? But you can't use your own ingredients. You have to negotiate with the league club members around here to get what you need. Once you have all the right ingredients, come back and talk to me. Then I'll judge your sandwich making skills with my own two eyes. The key is cooking any dish is picking the right ingredients and the rest is easy as pie. I'm ready to take on my elite trial errand, Brad? Ready. Sweet, give me a hot minute to get everything set up. I'm guessing I'm going to have to fight trainers. In the form of negotiating. First things first, negotiate with the League Club members to get some ingredients. You need to make a super spicy sandwich. That should already be the clue for what you need. Once you got all the ingredients to whip up your sandwich, come give me a holler. Alright then, let's start this now. Potato salad, if you want. We are bad up to no. Potato salad isn't spicy. Marmalade. Ooh, jalapeno. Well, I'm in fine pickle. I am. I'm missing two whole ingredients. Listen, I'll give you super spicy jalapeno if you front me some for prosciutto and olive oil. Okay, so I need to find olive oil and prosciutto. Wait, three ingredients if you bring the right answer. Oh, you don't have any ingredients at all. Come back once you gather some ingredients. Oh, fuck you! Mayonnaise? No, that's not spicy. If you give me something. I guess I have to beat these regular fuckers. And I can gather ingredients. Yeah, I'm gonna whoop your ass. Actually hit. And fuck your camera up. Ow, that hurt. Oh, and one first. Surprisingly. Oh wait, I just realized they have the bisexual pants on. Yes, I can hear the voice of Teo Sen speak to me now. They have bisexual pants. If you look closely, that looks like a bisexual flag. I think. 
I don't... Am I not... Am I the only one seeing this? Anyways. It says it wants to go with you. Whatever. I don't know. The one side looks more red to me. Ah. Uh, Oh, to heal my Pokemon. Thank you. I appreciate that. I'm a layer mustard. Okay, so, so far everyone wants to fucking trade. talking about her parents that uh, the woman's pants oh his too I guess cl closer up I'm not gonna hit a closer up you can see the colors better what do you think but it's their team shorts true it's the team bisexuals <laughs> They're all by, yeah. Oh shit. Yeah, Okapon's dead. You know, I should probably find some way to take Ogre Punk out. I want to end one first. The Chong! Send in the charm. But missed, yep. Which changes their type. Wait, also doesn't other one have ma different masks that you can wear? Which changes their type? Oh yeah, true. I think it changes from either steel, fire, or grass. But I can't access my bag right now. If you get the disc trivia question, if you do, I'll give you three ingredients. What do you what do you get when you mix eggs, oil, and vinegar? Tell me if you got it. Eggs, oil, and vinegar. Look, corn, is that mayonnaise or potato salad? 
I don't know how either are made. Oh wait, potato salad, we need potatoes. Right? Mayonnaise. Correct, the answer is mayonnaise. You've got five star knowledge, I see. And here's your prize, three whole ingredients at once. Bag, olive oil, vinegar. Okay, so let's talk to the other fucker over here. Some potato we stuff to get the cold, you know. Now we're throwing greens. I'll hand over thing against just a bit. Got any potato stuff for me? Potato salad. So how much I've been putting potato salad all day. Got three ingredients in exchange for potato salad. And can cover a mosquito. Okay. Chili sauce and ketchup. Okay. Where's this bear? Favorite king curry, chili sauce. I'll treat you chili sauce. Like, even slice of cucumber for me? This, this is perfect. Let's try it. Okay, got chili sauce. That's spicy. Oh, yeah. One of Ogre Boss masks is, is a water type mask. Oh. Well, then, I'm gonna change Ogre Pond's type. <laughs> want some eggs. I really want some eggs. It's actually brawny Corazon. Sure, I'll trade. I don't know what Corazons are. Grass, water, fire, and rock. Ah. Let's see the little ingredients. That's not like you seem spicy. Help ping you if you give me some mosquito and olive oil. Here you go. Okay. Bookworm. Is marmalade. Oh, wait. Put too much marmalade in. I really don't need this muscle either. I'm going to trade your vinegar for either marmalade or yeah. Okay. Is marmalade or mustard sp Which one is spicier? I don't know what either are. I, well, I mean, I know what mustard is, but I don't know what marmalade is. So, I don't know. It's one of these two is the wrong answer. Where's on this type of pork sausage or something from a very pizza the Spain mall? Oh, <laughs> need to know. I think mustard is spicy. Okay, there you go. Start making super spicy sandwich. I want to start. Let's see if I got it correct, bookworm. I can tell you, great high heat. Look forward to see some ancient spice, man. Oh. It will obviously be jalapenos. <laughs> so mustard wasn't even important. Oh, wait, wait, hold on. Okay, so hold on. It's probably this. Oh, shit. Too late. Too late, bookworm. <laughs> This is going to be the shittiest sandwich. <laughs> Imaginable. Like, I'm just going to eat pepper sandwich with some fillings. Spicy at all. You need to add more spicy ingredients. Seriously, the spicier you can make it, the better. 
stuff for Wild Christmas, sorry, but you gotta try again. Wait, do I start all over, or? Oh, I gotta start the trial all over again? That was unlike last time. No. You are a bastard. Not to mention, but I think Corazon is a bit spicy. Ah. Uh... Well, at least I can farm some levels off this. It's not spicy at all. Oh, they talk to them again and they can tell you stuff. Again, of course, it could use. It has some zing to it, so it's not for everyone. Aha! Why does it think generous people have big hearts? Okay, well you obviously don't say shit. Oh, you have the ingredients already. <laughs> okay, so it's jalapenos, the pig dick meat, and um, hot sauce. <laughs> you know why. You know what? I'm going to make my special sandwich. Okay, bookworm. Watch. Just watch. Stay on, stay on. Okay. Now we just put them right here. Oh god, stop moving off the plane. There we go. The perfect sandwich. <laughs> it's perfect. This needs to be clipped so I can show this hatchet the hatchet. Just the perfect sandwich. Just an open face sandwich. Yeah. It's the ultimate sandwich. I tried stacking the jalapenos. Nope, we're missing something. Oh, maybe we do add the onion. What was the other ingredient you had? Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Onion. I, I'm not sure if onion would be... Would it be spicy? Yeah. Alright. All right. I'll put all the jalapenos on the right, all the wieners or pig dicks on on the left, and all the onion in the middle. This is by far the most annoying trial I've ever done.
If this fails, we need to add mustard. It up it wouldn't let me pick it up okay this is a failure it wouldn't let me pick up the jalapeno I tried grabbing it multiple times oh hi chew I, th I thought you had to go away chew I'm gonna fail this for a while. Ah. A little bit more heat. Okay, so we need to add mustard. Also, Bookworm, you are banned from being a menace towards me on me Twitch. You're not, you're, hey, Bookworm, you're not banned from being a menace towards me, so go ahead, Bookworm. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> Is that no to Chew or me? to chew. <laughs> if you do anything menacing, menace like, I'll hit you with my tail. Do it to my channel then. Do it to my channel, Pokemon. Cause as much chaos as you like. I don't care. <laughs> you <laughs> but also thank you that's actually pretty funny <laughs> she loves the stage <laughs> i am making the ultimate sandwich Is the ultimate sandwich. <laughs> Behold and it's galore. One I side. Yeah, one side's for vegans, one side is for meat lovers. Putting a knife in your sandwich. I, I saw it. 
Yes, okay, so the only thing we missed was the mustard. Uh, mustard's not really that spicy to me, but okay. Even the spiciest, even the spiciest souls would be wowed by the spiciness you just delivered. I'm just a bit surprised you didn't put bread on top, though. Is that about Dean thing? Oh my god. They prepared dialogue in case he didn't put bread on top. They prepared dialogue. Oh my god. They knew people were doing that. Oh my god. Anyway, you passed my leap. Try with flying colors. He made us a great super spicy sandwich. See, it was the ultimate sandwich. One side is for meat lovers, the other side is for vegans. <laughs> I'm gonna enjoy it. I tingle on my tongue as we head back to the plaza. Well, that wraps up the trial, so now it's time to face me in a leap battle. I sent both clips to Hatchet, by the way. Like, all the clips so far. You all prepped up and ready to take me on? No. I need to do something first. Don't worry, I get it. Battles are... I like meals. The best ones are... Take the most prep to work. Okay. Bag. Could be in here. Where the fuck is Ogre Pond's mask? Oh, there it is. Must bring mask. Unless... Oh! Okay. Eric Pond transformed. Let's beat the living fuck out of you. I'm cranking up the heat. Sure you are, bud. So, in bed. I think there's some music hinted between you and Kieran, huh? And it sure seems like Drayton's cooking up something fishy, too. Yeah, everything's so complicated. Can't you all just get over yourselves? If you want to say something, just say it. If you want to do something, just do it. I'm the kind of guy who wastes time sweating the smart stuff. And bet I battle because I want to battle. And you know what? That's how it should be. I'm Crispin, late for a rap. And this here's Savannah Bio. I want to win, so that's exactly what I'll do. Yep. Yeah, the tiny kid cooking. Wait, no, tiny step bed. Hydro pump you, let the clock. Hydro control you, bitch. Oh, hey Hatchet, what are you doing back? That was a bit better, so I thought I'd help him. Oh, well. I'm glad you come back. Well, after this fight, I'm gonna end stream. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> well then. 
that's gonna be a problem. That Rotom just ate shit. Yeah, it did. Hey, you really gas our flames if you can use moves they can't. Uh, what? What happened? Where did all that damage come from? <laughs> Why does this motherfucker have a frying pan? Because he's a cook. Okay. Oh, Lemon has water-type moves. I didn't know that. And Lemon's pretty much immune to flames. Eh, to an extent. What the fuck are you wearing? <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> what the fuck have you been doing in my absence? Don't worry about it. Why are you wearing a beret? Oh, uh, because I am. That's a brave bird. Oh, the pun's dead. Go. Psychic or a fire type? No, they're a grass and psychic. Wait, then why is the fire type Elite Four user? Using a grass and psychic. Maybe they're supposed to terra type? Maybe. Do solar beam. Well, sending Gran Inferno. They're gonna be immune to fire. And take care of Executor. Two big baddies are out here now. This isn't a fight. <laughs> it's it's a slaughter. <laughs> This isn't sword. even. This uh, isn't even like taking candy from a baby. This is like walking up to a baby in a stroller and kicking the stroller over. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, Bookworm, what was that about solar beam? <laughs> oh, I hate that thing. <gasps> but I love that one. No, don't hurt the, don't, don't, don't hurt the... Hey, he the, didn't sit over mm, here. <laughs> Don't hurt the smashable chicken. Well, he's about, you're about to make him more smashable for you. Dude, why are you, why did he put the carrot type thing into the pan? I don't know. You just, why would you tear it, what, tear type fire to fire. You could, like, switch things up so well. You <laughs> just look how much damage. And defense fell. <laughs> Don't think we put mayo on it. Right, that sandwich had mayo, it isn't vegan. Yeah, we didn't put mayo on it. Oh, Grand Inferno took damage. That, of course, oh, definitely isn't vegan. Yeah, I said one side is is for vegans, one side is for meat lovers. Also, in all seriousness, Bookworm, I think for level 5 hype train, I should be able to I should get pain drain away from that. Oh, that's nice, uh, Bookworm. Wait, did Bookworm do it again? Maybe. Or is this just thinking from last time? Who knows? No! The Twink Bird is gone. Now he's just got... this. What are you talking about, Marsha? This is last time I tried to shoot once or twice before Space Master starts. I wanted to win, but I lost. Yeah, apparently you only had to pay 50 BP in order to, um, you know, have fight these guys. You still have to pay, but not as much. Mm. Yeah, just wait till I show you what I have to do for tasks in order to earn BP. Woohoo! It was amazing. We cranked the heat all the way up. Hey, Aaron Brad. I love battles, I love cooking, 
because they're both so easy to understand. In balance, you either win or lose. With, with cooking your dishes, either spicy or not spicy. Simple, right? But right now, the Moon and League Club feels, I don't know, off? It's so frustrating. I wish I knew how, how we can get, go back and be to be in the fan club we were before. Are they making out? Oh, let's go! Kiss him! Kiss <laughs> what the him! fuck, fuck, Warp? What the fuck? What did Book do? <laughs> they, they, they played a most critical thing from Tenji. It says, oh my gosh, are they kissing? Oh my gosh, let's go! Oh. <laughs> But hey, didn't mean to dance the flames there. You were real strong, and right. Let me see if I can transfer the burning heat from our battle into my frying pan. I that be... kid is a that huh? kid is a hundred percent about to lob that at you. Yeah, <laughs> I whip you up something great. <laughs> That's one way to heat up food. <laughs> I don't like this. I don't like magma or whatever it's called. Mag Mortar, yeah. Mag Mortar. I just like saved him. that for a more romantically tense moment. Wait, you you use Springwell Mask Ogre Pawn and not Cornerstone Mask Ogre Pawn. I used it because of water, and I thought it would work well against fire, but oh well. Here, I'll give you one of my favorite moves to save up in battle. Temper Flare, Rock 2. Ah, oh, yeah, true. Or... Again, what the fuck is up with your look now? Oh, I tried to copy some of my look from Sword and Shield where I had the dead eyes. Where I looked like how smoking Litwick. Yeah, apparently they got oh. rid of that eye color and just did pure black. So... And then you decided <laughs> to... Shave all but the very top of your head <laughs> and put on a beret. Yes. Okay, here's the thing. You don't have much choices for clothes in this game. Like you do in Sword and Shield. Alright, I feel like counter sensitive devs would have probably predicted you to kind of water. Okay, true never mind. I won't think that. I never could have had to manage the temperature or anything besides when I'm cooking. So all I can say is crank up the heat all you want in the BP League, Aaron Brat. Up oh, here he is. Yo, yo, champ and make it. So that's two Elite Four members down already, huh? You sure are crushing it. Crispin's no pushover. He's just super straightforward. I think that's kind of part of his charm, you know. We used to all chow down on Crispin's cooking after club activities let out. Those were the days. Guess he's been worrying about... About the ways things t are too in his own way. Oh shit, it's Kieran. Seems like things are going well in the BP League. Oh yeah, were you here when we saw Kieran? Well, I saw him... Uh, I I watched uh, Professor Glaceon play a bit of this, so I saw him then. Right, and right. What's up, Mata Champion? Scooping out the competition? Did you say scooping out? Sco I don't know why I said scooping. Sco scoping out the competition. Scooping. You scooping out the competition. Yeah, he just walks over with a giant spoon. <laughs> and just tosses you over the wall. <laughs> you can't challenge me in a battle if you don't have eyes. Yeah. I was getting worried. It'd be so disappointing if Aaron Brad had gotten weaker. Oh god, that face. Bruh. That why, face. Why does he have a fucking yandere 
much shit going on. Yeah, uh, you were you missed it earlier, but basically Chu said it perfectly. He acts like a combination of Aaron Yeager and Sephiroth. You got cut out a whole bunch. I, I okay. Can you hear me better now? Yeah. I said he basically was. Uh, Chu said basically he was uh, uh, acting like a combination of Aaron Yeager and Sephiroth. I don't know jack shit about Sephiroth, but I guess I can kind of see Aaron. Yeah. <laughs> Chu is still trying to do the rumbling. <laughs> But he seemed as strong as ever, thankfully. And right, go out of way. Don't go losing. I can't show you how strong I've gotten if you don't m even make it to me. <laughs> Someone's good and riled up. I and can't show you how. S I can't show you how strong I've gotten if you don't reach me. You finally reach them. They just fucking. Turn into a hallucinogenia, destroy yeah. the entire academy. Yeah. Anyway, you got places to beat, right? Better not keep you. See ya. Good luck with the Romanian elite too. Okay, so basically, only one I had trouble with was which was Fairy Hatchet. The other two were were easy. This one was fire. The next one is steel, which is Grand Inferno's territory. He'll take them down quickly. And the last one is dragon. I have t either Gardevoir or N will take this down as territory. Because <laughs> N has Ice Fang and Gardevoir is a fairy type. So that's... Yeah. So <laughs> the last three were are going to be easy. But mm -hmm. all right. But basically, to show you, you know how I need three thousand for each biome to get new Pokemon. No, I don't. Oh yeah, no, that's the thing that happened. Uh, I guess you left by then. Yeah, you need three thousand BP in order to get to new more Pokemon for each biome. They uh, do that. Yeah. Look at the task on how much BP I get per task. This is extortion. Yeah. <laughs> Pick up items on the ground ten times. Who's paying these? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, that's that's what you gotta do. Oh no, I get it. You're doing uh community service work. Look at them real quick. So you've got pick up items on the ground, so it's like you're picking up litter. You've got defeat ten wild Pokemon using auto battle, so it's like you're uh, assisting animal control. And take a photo of a wild Pokemon in the canyon biome. I don't know how that would be public service. <laughs> Bookworm, is this your court sentence? <laughs> what did you do, Bright? Why did you get sent to this detention center? I tore off 50 Pidgey wings and then set them on fire. Bruh. <laughs> what? They pooped on me. They deserved it. <laughs> What's wrong with you? <laughs> no. That's not... Okay, in case you didn't know this, birds literally can't control when they poop. They don't have sphincters. <laughs> so your reasoning as to why they deserved it was something that they had no control over. Yes. I think you're ontologically evil. <laughs> Maybe. Anyways. Uh, Bookworm, last words go. And I, as I go to see if there's anyone I want to raid. Nope. Unless someone else wants to, me to raid someone. Raid Hatchet Head 33. <laughs> You're not even streaming. 
I wasn't going to stream anyway. Raid me while I'm not streaming. That's not how that works. Damn. Oh yeah, for the um, the first trial, I had to do a Pokemon quiz. The everyone, every single one, except for the last question, was an actual Pokemon quiz-like question. The last question was, "All right, where on this Pokemon uh, do you think I sleep on?" That was the last question. Have a good night, Chew. Yeah, good night, Chew. Yeah, it was I the see. stomach. <laughs> also, I'm happy because one of my uh, one of my relatives sent me twenty bucks for Christmas. Uh, and. Uh, my mom, uh, decided to pitch in an extra ten bucks so that I could get the second and third Attack on Titan Omnibus. Nice. Oh, it was rest on, not sleep on. Okay, whatever. But, the, but it's still, it's such an odd question. Just like, oh yeah, which part of this Pokemon... Oh, god damn it. Just, just where, which part of this Pokemon do you think I, I rest on? It's such an odd fucking question. Anyway, Evocorn, do you have last questions? I didn't know. Uh, I didn't last question. <laughs> last questions. <laughs> last <laughs> words. God damn it. The, the, she has infected my mind. Who's infected your mind? Uh, Lacey, the one that you, we met at the beginning, she's part of the Elite Four. What, does she ask questions a lot? Uh, she, uh for her trial, yes. She had, she had to answer five questions, then fight her. Oh, okay, that's what you're meaning. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, for the fire trial, I just had to make a sandwich. Is that why there's two clips about sandwiches in my my DMs. You should watch them. <laughs> I didn't watch them. I'll I, do so later. I'm guessing you watched the flirtation one. Well, yeah. <laughs> like, comment, subscribe, and follow Bright for more deranged Pokemon fun. Give her money if you can, and maybe she will stop hurting them and get a lesser sentence. <laughs> Did you use the low-key voice for your last I words? Say, I was about to say that. Looks like fucking Marvel Loki. Yeah. You had to trade and make a sandwich. Oh yeah, I didn't trade ingredients to get sandwich ingredients. I see. Alright, any last words? <sighs> For my last words? How many dollars is the underside of a car door when left out in the rain? 52. Shut up, Bright kept fucking up with making a spicy sandwich. Yeah, it needed a Corazon, jalapenos, mustard, and hot sauce. Sweet. And onions. Mm. Yeah, there was a reason why I called it one half uh, gets uh, is the meat lovers and the other half is vegan. Because I put the jalapenos and onions on one side and all the meat on the other. <laughs> that was awful. <laughs> yeah. And the thing and is now I just huh? and now I just wish my town still had a fucking uh Oh still had a fucking subway oh it's corzo not corazon whatever but anyways um apparently they added special dialogue 
if you didn't put the top bread on the sandwich, they 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 will mag mortar and the guy will whisper to his ears, is this like, is this a Paldea thing as to why they don't put the top part of the sandwich? <laughs> they did it. They actually did that. Fun. I, I was laughing so hard when I saw that. But yeah, any luck? Uh, so you did your last words and that's it? Basically, I was also just going to mention because I forgot to mention it during my last stream. Okay. Uh, I am particularly, uh, hopeful in, uh, being able to get affiliate because, uh, I don't know if you were here to listen in on, uh, Bright and I talk about this book, but, uh, once I'm affiliate and I can get crowd control going, uh, I can use that on both Skyrim and Darkest Dungeon. Yep. So you could just fucking torture me. You could just make all of my heroes die of heart attacks. Yeah, or Bookworm or... I can make Darkest Dungeon even more <laughs> worse so. health. Or Bookworm can accidentally help you like they have did for most of my Pokemon Emerald. <laughs> or purposely help. Yeah. And make Skyrim just a wild ride. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah. I, before I got here, that's the thing that I've noticed about myself. Is mm -hmm. a lot of times when I'm in a bad headspace, doing something that's like tangential to something I like that's also like ordering something like making a list of some kind sort of thing and organizing stuff uh, really helps me get into a better headspace I fucking downloaded some mods and worked on my load order in Skyrim so there nice. will be more things Anyways, uh, Jones, I hope you enjoyed. Hope to see you guys next time for your next mission. And um, uh, pee pee poo poo butthole fun. <laughs>